Hi. Hey, hi. hi. How is everyone doing? Yeah, I think we might be a minute behind schedule today. Oh my goodness. Not good. A bit slap, our, slap our wrists. Yes. We had a fire alarm in our building today, which is like this evening. Yes, that was a little bit... Uh, Put us behind schedule a little bit. Yeah. We will hang on for a few minutes because I think sometimes you might see an ad before the stream starts. So we'll yeah. vamp for a moment while, Just for a second. while that disappears or you will skip it. Feel free. Hopefully. There's lots of people in chat, I can see. Corey is here, and Kathleen, and Sophie, Leona, Lee, Aoife, Dawn, Angela, Fran, Amelia, Serena, Chris, Kieran, Sinead, Amy, oh they're going so fast, ah, <laughs> Libby, Michael, Bethany, Aidan, Adriana, Alex, Dave, okay we could do this all night, yeah. but thank you, thank Hello, you for joining everybody. us. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit further away today. Have I set the camera up? I don't know. Badly? Something's a I bit feel, different. I feel like something's a bit skewish. Should we bring everything a bit closer? Welcome yeah, well, to our... Well, anything, I actually feel like we're... Cl I don't know. Something's weird. Hmm. About that. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> Hello, Harrison in West Sussex. How was the, our weekend? The Dunn family are asking about our weekend. How was our weekend? We have It not, went quick. Yeah, <laughs> it's just been like a flash. It has. It's gone so, so quickly. Um, I feel like, yeah, it just went by without me even knowing what was going on. I mean, today went fast for me because I didn't get up until quite late. Yeah, you were up late to be it fair. It was probably about 1pm. Is anyone else's time <laughs> just completely off where you're going to bed, like who knows when, mm. and getting up who knows when? Our sleep plan has been just completely ruined. It's not the best, is it? <laughs> Uh, Dawn's asking whether you've done any baking. We're still missing ingredients, aren't we? Yeah, and I haven't been doing too much because we were discovering that, obviously, we're the only ones to eat it. So <laughs> you've got to be a bit careful. Yes. Um, otherwise, you could end up, uh, like I say, hulking out with my play suits in time for whenever I next go back to Disney, which is not what you want. So I'm trying not to do too much so that I can... Yeah. Lots of people in the chat saying they don't know what day it is. No, no I, actually, when you said to me earlier, oh, you know, we'll get set up for the live stream after dinner, I was like, live stream? Oh, yeah, it's Sunday, yeah, yep. okay. <laughs> I was very confused. Who even knows? Uh, let's do a mug check. So, boring mug for me. I've got my basket. Well, it's not boring. It's a cool mug, yeah. but it's a mug you've seen before recently. I think you'll have seen them all before now. So, yeah. I have Epcot. This is one of the Starbucks You Are Here mugs, but I think it's one from a couple of years ago. So love that. In fact, my tea is too hot. I can't oh even drink it yet. You're right. So, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Georgia in London. Uh, Cassandra wants to know if we've got plans for the week ahead. I mean, I'm working, you're working. So yeah, more live streams. Does that? We'll be doing more live streams. Not sure what days we're going to do yet. We'll have to have a think. Yeah, it depends what's, what's going on. For the most part, we try and do them the same days, but there's the odd mm. day where we're kind of having a, like, Zoom call with family yeah. members and stuff. So, to yeah. try not to clash our thursdays and fridays tend to be yeah. social stuff in the evenings don't they so yeah. no but i've got a podcast to edit because we recorded the next episode of the podcast today so yes. that was cool so i'll have to get that done and i have got some show notes to catch up on as well yeah and i know that i do so apologies to patrons out there who are <laughs> waiting for those show notes because i'm just as plan for the week ahead survive yes quite <laughs> indeed <laughs> Uh, Sam's asking if we've watched Afterlife. I watched the first series. You've not seen any of it. No, I didn't the thing think with so. Ricky Gervais. I loved it. I thought the first series was fantastic, but I haven't watched the second series yet. Okay. It has popped up on my Netflix, though. What I think it? you'd enjoy what it. What is it about? So the premise is that he's a, a guy that's just kind of almost like sick of life and he just doesn't see the point anymore. So he's just really rude to people and just doesn't care. And it's just about his journey and like discovering Very what... much doesn't no, no, no. sound like my kind of person. <laughs> but his journey and discovering what does matter. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's all okay. nice. But it's, it's good. It's really funny. It sounds like it's someone, good. someone can give us a better uh, synopsis in the uh, chat, I'm sure. Yeah. I still feel like we're at a weird angle. Are we Do we need to tilt a bit? Is that what's I don't, happened? I don't no. really know. Something Probably feels strange to Probably don't need to, to see more of my hair than necessary because <laughs> I've got a very strange... It's fine. It's ...hair right. situation. Well, there's only... Like saying, oh, there's just less of it. There's a couple of <laughs> no, there's a couple of extensions hanging in there. Mm. Haley's right, yes, because Ricky Gervais's character, his wife passes away. Okay. And he just thinks like it's very cruel and nothing's fair, so what's the point? And but it's just hilarious the way he's very rude to a lot of people. But it is funny. Cool. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, Chris is saying his wife passed away from cancer and he struggles to cope without her. So okay. it's kind of like a bittersweet, funny, it sad. sad. It's funny and sad. It's good though. Okay, as long as it's not too sad. I don't like anything too sad. 
Oh, Dawn says we're fine. Don't move. Okay. Okay. I'll leave the camera alone. I think this is okay. It just maybe we're a bit brighter or something than normal. Maybe it's something like that. Or I, I feel like we're a bit close to the edge. I don't know. Like, I I don't know. We're fine. I'm just. You know when you're just like looking at something and you feel like it's not quite right. It's just setting off my spidey sense. Ed's just asking. Um, he knows we don't have Walmart or Target, but our store's still open, so you can do shopping runs. Yeah. yeah, so like the big stores are equivalent of your Walmarts and your Targets, the supermarkets over here, they are open. Yeah. Things are quite different. There's a lot of social distancing and stuff like that. Yeah, so. you have to kind of line up two metres apart and then they'll only let a certain amount of people in at once. And as you're going around the store, I think there's like... In certain cases, um, the floor yeah, is like marked markings, where, yeah. Yeah, where you should be going and stuff. So it's quite like restricted, but yeah, supermarkets. Not that everyone open. pays attention to it, which no. is why I find going to the shop very stressful at the moment. It's very annoying. <laughs> um, Aoife and a few other people were asking if we've seen the latest Imagineering story. We haven't watched the no, new episode from yet. Friday yet. I'm excited to watch it though. Yeah, I love we it. did just start watching a new series. And what were we watching before that? We just watched something else as well. Mm, um, why? Like, why, is, why am I blanking on? We why just finished blanking? something, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Because we rewatched about half of Tiger King. And sort of. And we were like, okay, that's cool. Like we, were, yeah. yeah, we sort of reminded ourselves what it was about. But we watched something else, didn't we? And I can't remember what it was. No, me well, neither. Anyway, I, I don't I, know what's going on at the moment. To be I, honest. I've just finished the latest series of Better Call Saul, which I really enjoy, and yeah. you do not watch. Oh, and someone saying they agree with you. They were really annoyed at Asda yesterday. Yeah, yeah. people are just being generally quite ridiculous in a lot of cases um you know we had a fire alarm we were saying in our building oh, earlier yeah. and people were kind of being okay about social distancing because obviously you have to get outside but when it was time to go back in people were just kind of yeah going back in they weren't really trying to stay away from people no there seems to be a lot of uh, disregard for yeah any kind of social distancing which makes going outside very stressful so we're trying to avoid that where possible definitely heather is saying hi from vegas oh hi, hi i'm i'm repping yeah repping sin city tonight yeah he is and i got this in vegas as well shockingly enough yeah <laughs> um, Oh, a lot of people are saying they've seen yesterday's vlog and enjoyed it. I'm Aww. glad you enjoyed it. I'm never quite sure whether people kind of want as much like, or not as much Universal, obviously. I would never be doing like half and half because I don't stay at Universal as much. But I know a lot of people do like to um, see Universal as well. So yeah. No, yeah. it's great to hear that people enjoyed that one because it was a bit of a quieter day, wasn't yeah. it, in terms of attractions and stuff like that. Mm. But you went to a lot of different places and I thought yeah. it was interesting, but... You know, everyone's different. Some people prefer the action-packed days. So yeah. We try and cater to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your favourite Disney t-shirt? Mine? Yeah. Um, I do love my Nemo shirt, the Mine, Mine, Mine. Oh, yeah, with you the, love all that. of the uh, <clears throat> seagulls on it. Um, yeah, that's probably my favourite. Yeah. Um, yeah, and a lot of people saying they love Universal. Yeah. Yeah, Universal is great. I, I do want to go back before too long. Um... But yeah, just haven't been the last few trips. No, I think, I can't even remember when you last went. A long I've time done ago. the Hogwarts Express, so recently enough to do that. Yeah. Uh, Dawn is asking about a favourite Star Wars movie. Uh, if it counts, then Rogue One. That's actually, I prefer that to all of the main... Fair enough. Uh, you know, uh, episodes. Yeah, I mean, I think... I really like Return of the Jedi... Yeah, yeah, Return of the Jedi is great. And Empire Strikes Back is really good. Yeah. Um, I also enjoy Episode Three just because I enjoy two, and I know, I know, but I mean, at least you're not. It's not one. At least you're not a, like a Phantom Menace fan. No, I mean, is anyone? Are there any Phantom Menace fans out there? Let us know. I just love that one because I like um, Anakin and Padme's story, yeah. so I kind of like watching See, that. I'm, bit. I'm like... It's not a good movie, obviously. <laughs> you do um, love a love story, don't you? I do, I you, do. You're a sucker for romance. But I do know that that is not a good movie in <laughs> the usual sense of something being a good movie. Um, I think a minute ago, Alyssa was asking, what are we going to do when the current series of vlogs finishes? Which is a very topical yes. question. We do have a plan. We do, we do I have a plan. I have no idea how much of it Victoria is willing to reveal at the moment, so I might have just dropped myself in it. No, I mean, I don't really think it needs to be kept secret because I know you guys are going to be wondering about that and, mm. you know, we want you to be assured that there will still be a video every Saturday. So what we have decided to do is go back to our 
first vlog series that we did together and we're going to be doing reacting to our old vlogs yeah. so it'll be a split screen between those vlogs and us basically commentating over the top and saying yeah. what we think of it and what was happening and like bad yeah. editing and all that <laughs> kind of stuff and um, so let me know what you think of that but that will obviously you know be every week we'll be able to put a video out yeah. maybe even a Possibly couple of times a week more often yeah yeah because we have a, a big back catalogue of vlogs we'll only obviously do the ones that we're both in um yeah you know we don't we won't commentate on no there's me no point me commentating else, no. on a trip where you went with kate for example because i wasn't yeah. there so i don't know what happened yeah it'll be the ones with both of us in yeah, yeah. so we, we thought that'd be a nice thing to do given the current situation we can't there is no way to produce new vlogs for you i'm sure if victoria could get to a park safely she would do it but we can't, so that's what we're going to do. It seems like people in the chat think it's going to be fun. Yeah, Ed's uh, worried. Ed's worried about me without the beard. Yeah, that that's is true. Gonna be, that is going to be weird. 2016, it's going to be young Ian. Get ready for beardless Ian. Well, I say young Ian, beardless Ian. Yeah, it's probably fairer to say. It, you, it, he does look really different, though. Like, it's it's weird, like, seeing those vlogs back, so. Oh, Amy, Amy is laying down the burns. She says, oh. I pro she says you probably don't remember what happens on your trip either, Ian. I mean, Ian. she's... Fair point. Fair She's point. kind of right. But. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I hope you guys think that that's a good idea. I hope you'll enjoy that. It should be quite funny. And we don't really watch the vlogs back just because no. we don't have time. Um, so when also, in all honesty, you spend so much time editing them. I yeah. feel the same way with the podcast. Like I don't listen to the podcast back because it's like once I'm done with it, I'm done with it. I want to get on to the next one. Yeah. It's like when you've edited something. I'm sure it's the same for you with the vlogs, right? You don't need to pick over it and watch it again because it's like you've you've seen it a thousand times already. yeah like every now and again i will go back and watch a series so i did watch recently some of mine and lisa's first trip that we did mm. because i'm supposed to be going with her in a couple of weeks time so i wanted yeah. to kind of relive that trip but for the most part we don't so we haven't watched those 2016 vlogs. Was that also there. scouting for the quiz by any chance? Nope. No. Mm, sorry, okay. to, sorry to disappoint trying you. Trying to fish for clues. I know so you're already thinking about the quiz there is a quiz again today obviously um, so yeah, it looks like a lot of people are saying um, that they... Or Philippa and Lee love it. your makeup look tonight. Oh, thank you. It's actually... I'm not sure whether that's Philippa or Lee, or whether they both think your makeup looks Do you know lovely. what? It's actually largely the same as I'm always wearing, but I do have new eyelashes, like ah. different eyelashes on. The reason I always wear false eyelashes, I know a lot of people are like, do you just wear them around the house? No, to be honest. I usually wear them if I'm going anywhere, when I'm in Florida... Um, if I'm going out and about because mine are so useless and rubbish that putting mascara on is pointless mm. and it takes me less time to put false ones on so mm. I just do that. Um, there was a really good question that I've now lost. Where's it gone? Uh, yeah, Harry was just asking with the new vlogs that are going to be coming out mm -hmm. after this series, the reaction videos, uh, whether there's a way to watch back live with these guys at the same time so everyone can chat. And we have done premieres before. I don't know yes. whether that's something that maybe we could do again for this. Yeah, I mean, we, we could, could think try, about it. We could try doing that. We did have an issue with visibility when we did that. Yeah, so not everyone got notifications. Yeah, not stuff, everyone was getting it. So, I mean, we are always there in the comments yeah. for new vlogs. So if you are watching a new vlog, um, if you have your have it up on your phone as well, but like muted, we are always there in the comments. So yeah. we can kind of chat that way. So that could be a, an option as well. We're thinking possibly for the final episode of this series of vlogs, we might do a premiere. Just because yes. we did really enjoy doing the premiere. Yeah, but it was cool. It just caused some issues with people not getting the right notifications mm -hmm. about when the vlog was going to be, and it just caused some confusion, I think. But yeah. I'd love I'd love to give that a try again, because it was really good fun, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it was good. Um, Laura's just asking, have you tried the magnetic lashes? Yes, I have, and they are useless, in my experience. <laughs> okay, um, I've so tried solid no. Solid no for me. <laughs> I've tried the ones that you kind of, uh, kind of like both lashes and you clamp them on, and I've also tried the one where you paint the eyeliner that's magnetic, and then it attacked mm. both of them, useless, didn't work. Yeah. Alyssa wanted to know how much are you missing Ohana? Lots. I mean, the thing is, you miss Ohana a lot just when you're not yeah, at Disney, regardless of any kind of lockdown or the whatever. The crazy thing is, I was saying about this on my Instagram today, I miss Disney all the time, whether I'm there or not. I actually wouldn't have been back yet since no. I was there in February. I'm not But it's just to... knowing that you can't, isn't it? Yeah. It just feels different. It just feels different knowing that in a couple of weeks when I was supposed to be going, we're not going to be going. So yeah, it's kind of, kind of weird. Mm. Amber was asking why you don't seem to do the dining plan, which is something we talk about a fair bit, but let's mention yeah. it again. The reason we don't tend to do the dining plan anymore is because we have annual passes 
and usually to get the good deals for dining plan, like the free dining deal for UK residents that Disney have done for the last mm -hmm. however many years. It's been a long time now, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, we're not eligible for that because you have to be buying your hotel and your ticket yeah. at the same time from Disney. And because we have annual passes, we don't need to buy a ticket. And so we're never eligible for those deals. Mm -hmm. um, the dining plan is definitely worth it, especially if you can get free dining. That is an incredibly good deal. Yes. And well worth trying. And the convenience of dining plan is amazing. We've talked about it a bunch before, but if people have got dining plan questions specifically, more than happy to yeah. ask them. But that's why we don't tend to do it anymore ourselves. No. We even did deluxe twice. And that's I'm not sure food. what motivated us to do it the second time because it was... It was an ordeal the first time. I think we just wanted to try out more restaurants. That was yeah. probably the idea. Um, Bonnie is saying, can we give a shout out to Alyssa? Hi, Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. Sorry, just having a look at some questions. That's right. Uh, Laura's here from Magic Maker Ears. Hi, Hi Laura. Laura. Uh, Aoife's asking our favourite Ohana meal, presumably the favourite time we've been to Ohana, because the meal is kind of the same every time. Yeah, so it's, it's family um, style. So dinner. Ohana. Oh, you think that's... Okay, there, I well, misunderstood isn't, the question. There I, isn't an option, is No, there? but I thought Aoife meant that our favourite time going to Ohana. Oh. Like our favourite Ohana Let meal. Let us know like, what you meant, Yeah, Because yeah, we could be getting the total wrong end, wrong end of the stick there. Um, someone also asked which ears these are. These are Disney ones and they're the Arendelle Aqua ears. And Dawn, yes, there is going to be a quiz tonight. Yes, there is. Victoria has been keeping the question secret from me. Yeah. So I get to fail along with you. <laughs> Actually, I got, what did I get? Three out of five last time. Yeah. Which is that's not, a, that's not bad. I mean, it is terrible considering I was there, but it's not a terrible score. Yeah. Um, so I think Aoife meant like specific food. Ohana is only one type of food, but yeah. whether you mean the, the... Oh, your favourite element of what you get? So Yeah, I, th I think maybe, yeah, Ohana is just uh, like family style. So there's no yeah. choices in that restaurant. Yeah. You have the meat skewers and the vegetables and the salad and all that kind of stuff, but there aren't yeah. other things that you can That's have. That's it. So there's like pineapple bread as you come in, then yeah. you get brought salad, uh, you get brought the pot stickers and the chicken wings, and I think some more veggies. Mm -hmm. And then there's rice or noodles, noodles. or something. Noodles. And then you get the meat Ian skewers. Ian doesn't eat the noodles. I, Let's just take a moment. I am there for the skewers. Thank you very much. So then you get the meat skewers, which is like uh, beef, chicken and shrimp, I think. Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, Devon is asking, can I show my pin collection? I actually did that in the last live stream, so I won't do it again today because I know a lot of people are here. Oh, you did that on Friday. Yeah, you? I did that on Friday's live stream. Go back so... and watch Friday's live stream. You can check it out. Yep. Can we say hi to Bill? Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Um, Amber wants to know, is Ohana similar to Whispering Canyon Cafe? Um, in the res sort of in the in vibe the sense wise. Oh, I thought you oh, meant the food, the skillet. Yeah. So obviously you get like a all you can eat skillet. But in Whispering Candy Cafe, you do have choices of what you have. Yeah. Ohana, you don't. So there it's just no like choice, one set yeah. menu there. Uh, Gemma's asking if there's anything Disney related you've bought but not told me about. No, I don't think so. Nothing you're willing to reveal. No, I mean you see my haul videos. Like it's I've true. never secretly bought anything. <laughs> And um, someone was asking, can either of us sing? No. no. Can we do a duet? No. No. I mean, <laughs> Victoria has got a better singing voice than me. I can carry a tune, but it's no more impressive than that. So we, don't anyone get too excited. We did Korean karaoke, didn't we? We did, when yeah. When we were in London with your yeah. brother. And that was a laugh. Actually, I did Korean karaoke in Korea as well. You did. Uh, you weren't feeling well that night. No. Then, so you stayed. That was the night that we went around, ended up at that fish market, and you were just horrified so i don't yeah. think you wanted to go back outside after that less said about that <laughs> uh, most expensive piece of merch you've bought was probably my Dooney and burke bag yeah i think your haunted mansion one yeah yeah i think that's probably the most expensive um have oh bethany saying have you bought anything off shop disney while in isolation yes i have it hasn't arrived yet but i ordered something last week when they had the frozen key available and um, that you get as a free gift and I will show you when it arrives what I got. I won't tell you because I'm mean like that. Mm. Suspense, I like it. <laughs> um, Letitia says, have you been to the Warner Brothers Harry Potter tour? You've done that, haven't you? Yes. I thought we all went. You've been. The Harry Potter tour? No. Have I? Did you not come with us when I was just out of hospital? Did you not come? I remember having the conversations about it, but I, I thought, thought you we... and Becky went in the end and me and Curly dipped out because we couldn't be bothered. 
Well, James, <laughs> James was there, and I thought you, I thought you were there. I thought I was working. Like, wasn't that during the week? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Fair anyway. enough. Fair enough. I've been several times anyway. Uh, Heather happening. says, "Can we shout out to their son, Declan's a huge fan. Hi, Hi Declan." Declan. Um, Alyssa is saying, "Have I pre-ordered my planner yet? It's actually <laughs> tomorrow, unless I don't tell me I've missed it. Yeah, twenty seventh. It's actually tomorrow that I can pre-order. So I'm very excited." Um, Laura says, "I got the key to." Uh, and then she says, I slipped and fell and got two t-shirts and a mug. Oops. Mm. That, that does happen, doesn't it? There were actually a couple of things I've been wanting for a while, so I didn't kind of... Sorry, my I, chair is <laughs> out of control. I didn't buy anything that I wasn't planning on buying anyway, but I just held off so I could get the frozen key. Oh, Natalie says, playlist of Disney Vogs is helping them through uh, isolation with teething five months. Oh, so, I'm glad. Wow. Not that you've got a teething five months. No, month, but... That and also massive respect, massive respect for getting through <laughs> with a teething five month old, yikes. Uh, Emily wants to know if we had any Disney references at our wedding. Um, minimal, I think, minimal Disney influence. Do you know what, we really didn't. Um, I think it was like mentioned by the, the, the vicar during the, didn't he mention something about Disney? No. The, oh, okay. Fine. I obviously can't remember anything. No, Ian's memory is bad. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to think if there was anything. Our tables were like Vegas themed, mm. bright colours and Vegas. No, I don't think we did. We didn't. Okay. Which is not, you know, at the time we'd only been on like two trips together. That's true, yeah. I'd loved Disney for a long time, but the, the kind of trade-off in my head was that we were going to Disney on honeymoon. So the honeymoon was Disney and Ian yeah. loves Vegas, I love bright colours, so we kind of did that. For the wedding and we didn't want too many things in there because that could have been a little bit too much of a you know mismatching thing going on there mm. uh dt owens is saying victoria you'd be proud uh, i'm letting my 12 year old daughter do my makeup while in quarantine today she did my eyebrows nice hope she did a good job mm. when am i going to get to do your makeup i think everyone's looking forward to that at some point <laughs> <laughs> i need to build myself up to it um, someone's saying renew our vows and get on Disney fairy tale weddings. That'd be good. Wouldn't it? <laughs> I actually started that today, but I then got distracted and I only watched about ten minutes. But I will go back to that. Um, do we have any thoughts on pools at the resorts when they reopen? I uh, do mm. wonder whether it That's would be a, tricky a while. One, isn't it? Yeah. It, the problem is with that. There's just basically no way to control hygiene, mm. and obviously people's you know touching things you can't wear a mask in the water all of those kinds of things so i i do wonder whether they will be closed i i'm not sure but that's just me guessing i have no clue whatsoever uh eva's saying that her coffee supply is shrinking which i think is a problem a lot of us are having during mm -hmm. lockdown um so she was asking whether we can share a link to where we got our disney coffee which was yep. joffrey's we can it? put that in the so, yeah. description of this live stream what is Ian doing there? Sorry, I was going to go find the link, but then I realised that means someone you're not said to see they've the cut their boyfriend's hair and he says he looks like a coconut. That's not good. <laughs> that is not good. I feel like I need to um, do Ian's hair again before long. I really didn't cut enough off the first time, but I was very paranoid about doing too much. So I mean, I think I can totally understand that that you you'd rather take off not enough than too much, right? So mm. it's definitely the right thing to do. But yes, I think now that you've done it and you know you can do it, like you could definitely take a load more length off, especially yeah. the top. Like I think that could come down to like I'm definitely not there. taking <laughs> up being a hairdresser after this for sure. <laughs> Um, Denise is new to the vlogs and now she's addicted. She's been binge, binge watching for Aww. four days. Is that the right, the right link to give people? Yep, that's you haven't got like an affiliate link or anything? No, no. So I no will ad, no sponsorship. It's just we love Joffrey's. <laughs> so Aoife, I have tagged you in the chat and there's a link there for you and anyone else who wants to try the Joffrey's coffee. We are currently on the Biscoffee. Oh, which so good. It's really good. Really, <clears throat> it's just got like a hint of sweetness, the, just the littlest hint. And it's such, um, for us, it's such an America taste. It, it is, just reminds yeah, like... us of American coffee. And yeah, it's really, really good. I actually, my personal opinion, I don't even think it's a hint of sweetness. I just think it's a hint of taste of like, it's, it's hard to explain. It's a bit like biscuit <laughs> brew. There's no sweetness, but yeah. there's something there that is, you can taste, if that yeah. makes sense. I thought it might actually it's almost, be sweet. It's almost just like a, a, an aroma. It's, yeah. it's more what it is than a, a but taste. But it's really nice. Like you drink it and it's like you can smell cinnamon or something. I think as well it's under ten dollars, whereas some of the others, like the Kona coffee, is like more like twenty. So yeah. it's it's a good, it's good price value too. As well. Um, 
Ooh, uh, Natalie says, would you ever go for an Orlando Magic season ticket, considering how often you go to Orlando? Um, I wish. Even you don't go quite often enough to make no. a season ticket worthwhile. I wish, though. We do love it. We've just started watching the uh, Netflix documentary about the Chicago Bulls. Yes. And it's really good so Yeah, far. Last Dance. It's really, really good. Definitely check yeah. that out if you're a basketball fan. Um, Georgie's saying, is it instant coffee? No, it's coffee beans, but you can get ground or like whole bean coffee from Joffrey's. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Emma's asking, what is there to do in Vegas? Well, where do you want to start? <laughs> Have to be more specific, Emma, I think. Yeah. There's loads to do. A lot. There's a lot to do. Laura's asking, do you like musicals? I do. I asked that question huge... right as you I was literally just tea. sipping tea. <laughs> um, I am a fan of musicals. I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm a big, big fan where I'm constantly going all the time. But yes, I do enjoy a good musical. Uh, Amy's interested in how long it took your Joffrey's order to arrive. It was pretty quick. Wasn't it was it? like less than a week, I yeah. think. It was super quick, considering it's coming from the States. Um, it was very, very quick. Yeah, no, it was yeah. really, really impressive. Um, if I can't find the Disney coffees, I think. Oh, okay. I'll have a little look around the site. Yeah, it does, it does say I'm Disney sure collection, I think, there. somewhere. I'll find it. Collections. Oh, sorry, I already clicked on coffee. It's under collections, I'm sure. Yeah, Disney. I will pop a different link in the chat. Um, Amy is asking, is a season pass the same as an annual pass? Is that... Um, are we talking about basketball now or are we talking about Disney? <laughs> Let me know. Uh, Matt wants to know where I got the chocolate-covered bacon from at a resort a while ago. So that was in the Polynesian at Kona Cafe. Well, Kona Island at the Kona Coffee. Island Coffee Store, which is just outside Kona Cafe. It's so and good. And it was delicious. <laughs> we had two different kinds as well, didn't we? I think we had a... One was just chocolate-covered, and then there was one that was something else, wasn't there? Didn't there was we like two a chili different... chocolate one or That's something. That's right, it was chili chocolate. That was really good. Yeah. Um, someone was asking, where are we? So I'm just trying to find your question. Um, Jade is asking, have we ever stayed at a Universal Hotel? Uh, yeah, we stayed mm. at Royal Pacific yep. together, but we don't have vlogs of that because it was ages ago. Yeah. Then Becky and I stayed at Cabana Bay in 2017, I think mm -hmm. it was. So you can go back and see that if you want to see Cabana Bay. And Kate and I stayed at Aventura in November, December 2018. So... Yeah, stayed in a few different ones. And all of them were nice, but I, I particularly like Cabana Bay. We had an amazing view from our room there. Mm. Um, Cabana Bay or Surfside? Um, do you mean Endless Summer? Um, I preferred Cabana Bay to Endless Summer. Endless Summer, oh yeah, I've stayed at Endless Summer. Sorry, forgot that one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just slipped your mind. Yeah, I totally forgot that. Um, yeah, I stayed in Endless Summer in... September 2019 just for one night and it was really nice but I do prefer Cabana Bay to um, Endless Summer. Uh, Philippa and Lee say would you ever want to stay in the Polynesian Villas? Uh, yeah we'd love oh, to. Oh do you mean the bungalows because I've stayed at the Polynesian DVC studio villa but in the bungalows. Oh yes, yeah I assumed sure. the bungalows is yeah, what was being definitely, I mean yes. sure we just don't <laughs> want to pay for it that's that's all. Yeah. Um, Gina's saying, have I seen the new Seagulls My My Mine mug on Shop Disney? No, I haven't seen that. No, you've already got one though, so I do already you have probably one. wouldn't. I mean, I'm going to have to go have a look at it now. Yeah, I want to I I mean, see I mean, depending whether it's much different, then maybe you <laughs> might need to, uh, need to get it. Do I think they'll do Disney dining in 2021? I really don't know. Usually, I think, let me just check the date, it would have been released by now. Yeah, normally it would be out by now. That doesn't mean that it's not going to. I think at the moment, anything that usually happens, we can just kind of throw out the window because Disney are obviously trying to figure out a lot of different things and all kinds of stuff like which promotions they have going forward and for next year all needs to be taken into consideration. I haven't heard anything official of any sort, but as soon as I know anything that I can tell you, I will. Uh, but yeah, not yet. I don't know anything about it, but... I would have thought they probably will, but maybe for, like, with more restrictions. So it's quite broad at the moment where they release it for 2021 and you've got to travel between, like, this date and this date. Maybe it would be, like, less time, you know, less availability mm. or something like that. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But I cannot find this mug. I'm desperately looking on Shop It Disney. might be on shopdisney.com. Oh, .com. Yeah. Which means we can't get which it. Which means we can't get it anyway. 
I still want to see it though, so I'm going to try and find it. <laughs> Have we ever flown to Orlando with Tui? If so, would any um, would anyone recommend? A bit wary of flying into Sanford. I haven't personally, but if anybody else has, um, let us know. Is it good? Have you flown into Sanford? Did you like it? Um, Jack is asking, did we enjoy all? Oh, did I enjoy all star movies? Yeah, I did. It was nice. The rooms are obviously refurbished to be similar to the ones at Pop Century, which was really nice. They are really nice rooms. Um, but I was only there for one night and I didn't really get back to the room until the evening. I think I'd been in Epcot, so I didn't really get to experience it as fully as the other all-star resorts. But yeah, it was nice. Um, Aoife's asking which Disney coffees are the best. We like the California Grill one, the Tusker House one and um, the Kona... The Kona... I think it's just called Kona Blend. Kona Blend, I yeah. think so, yeah. But that one is a little expensive. We do also like the Le Cellier one. Mm. It's good as well. I think I'm looking at the uh, right yeah, mug that's now. Cool. And that is cool. I still prefer the one I've got for two reasons. A, it's bigger. Uh -huh. I like big mugs. I cannot lie. And also, it's got the cool kind of embossed uh, effect on the outside. So yes. The seagulls are kind of raised up off the surface. But that is a very cool mug. Mm -hmm. I could definitely be tempted by that mug. Um, someone's asking, is the shuttle service at the Clarion Inn good? It is, but it's more limited. So it's not like Disney buses where you just kind of go outside and wait for one. It's only certain times of the morning. And I think sometimes you get dropped off at the Ticket and Transportation Centre. And then if you were going on to Epcot, you would get the monorail over or you can then get the monorail to Magic Kingdom. So it's a little bit more restricted, but it was fine. I have used it before. Um something about um, I think I've missed something somewhere about yeah I'm just trying to follow the chat as well <laughs> yeah there's a some kind of dialogue about Bert which mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there I'll assume it's being derogatory to me that seems about right <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gracie wants to know how we take our tea um, they find that British tea is so strong compared to Canadian tea well I love strong tea that's mm. what I'm all about I actually take my tea black so really basic just put water in it <laughs> apparently we're Bert and Mary Poppins oh that Bert I was thinking Bert and Ernie well I hope you're not insinuating that I'm Ernie <laughs> Emily was saying um if Victoria I would be a, if I was a character I'd be Mary Poppins thank you so much for Aww. saying Mary Poppins and not like Ursula or someone like that <laughs> Although if I ever, Cruella. if I'm ever looking at my phone and accidentally switch the uh, front facing camera, oh on, no, like, oh, that is definitely an Ursula. Ten thousand chins, Ursula it's Ursula horrible, moment. isn't it? Not just you. I mean, it's happened to me as Everyone, well. Everyone, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Sorry, I, I get you. It's fine. I hope there's. <laughs> isn't there going to be a new um, Cruella movie? I think. Um, is there not already? A... Oh, has it already come out? Am I behind the times? I heard something about it on a podcast the other oh. day and I can't remember the context. Unless there's like another new one. It was like an origin story. So it's like young Cruella DeVille. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Oh, okay. Hmm. Looks like I need to get on IMDb. Oh, someone's saying that they, um, Dawn, she's managed to get Biscuit Brew and she's been trying to get it for months and she loves it. Yes. Brilliant. I was speaking to my brother earlier and my brother's wife, she tried some when they were staying with us and she's now obsessed with it. So I'm going to post some out to her. And um, a couple of people have said they didn't like it, can't relate, but each to their own. Um, but most people do tend to absolutely love it because it is amazing. So yes, as a few people are saying in chat, Cruella is coming out next year, we believe. Oh, wait. Emma Stone in the title role. I did know that. Yeah. I probably blanked it because uh, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of Emma Stone, I won't lie. Oh no. I can't help it. I don't know her personally. There's nothing wrong, <laughs> there's, uh, there's nothing wrong with her. I'm well, sure she's a lovely no, person. No, let's get into it. What do you not like about her? Um, just trying to get you to say something something rude about No, there's nothing rude. She, there's a couple of mo movies where she just really grated on me. And then mm. I found it hard to watch other movies with her in. It wasn't her that was in the Muppets movie, was no. it? No. No, okay. No. I'm, I can't even think now which movie she's annoying in. But, um, yeah, it's nothing... I'm sure she's lovely. But <laughs> she's just a bit... If there you're was watching one Emma... Movie, <laughs> There was one movie where she played someone really goofy. I can't remember what it was, but she was so annoying in it. I was just like, no, I'm sorry. I can't quite cope with that. Anyway, um, <laughs> sounds like I'm being really horrible. I'm not, I promise. So do you think that was a while ago, like before La La Land? Oh, yeah. It was, a, it was like one of her early movies. Oh, okay. Oh, Crazy Stupid Love. She was annoying in that. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, oh, she's in Superbad. You probably found her annoying in that. 
Did you know she was in? Oh no, that's Malcolm in the Middle. That's I'm getting confused. Yeah, no, they, there was definitely okay. one or two movies where I was just like, oh. Oh, the House Bunny. She yeah, she was annoying in that. You found well. her annoying in that. Anyway, poor Emma Stone. Let's uh, stop. Yeah. We have nothing against Emma ashamed. Stone. No, not, I haven't got anything against her personally. I would not want it to get out there that I have something against <laughs> Emma Stone. I really don't. You don't want, you don't want to start a, a Twitter war no, or something? No, I certainly don't. She, I'm sure she is a lovely person. Uh, <laughs> oh, the Easy A. Maybe it was that then. Maybe it was that. Yeah. Oh, and Kira Knightley. Yeah. I Emily say... has just hit the nail on the face. Her and Kira Knightley both have very pointy, annoying faces. <laughs> I'm not sure about I'm not sure about the pointy face, but Kieran Knightley is also quite annoying. Yeah, I'm not I'm not so much down with judging people on their appearance, especially like let's be honest, there's no A-list celebrity actors who are like too pointy, ugly. But <laughs> they're all very beautiful. No, people. it's just it's not anything to do with that. It's just like a yeah, Kieran Knightley just really annoys you from a, a an apparent personality perspective. She was She's very just irritating. She was very annoying in Love Actually. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> you don't list off some more celebrities no, that you not, find annoying. This is just mean. Um, how is Animal Crossing going? Really good, actually. Mm. I've made some uh, good progress. Although you did have a scary incident this weekend. Oh yeah, it was horrible. Which I think we're going to mention it. Well, we definitely did mention it on the podcast. Whether I edit it out or not, I don't know. But you caught a fish that displeased you yeah. quite a lot. It was, it was really long. It was huge. I was catching a fish and. It was taking ages to come out of the water, and when it did, it was like this enormous, disgusting-looking thing. The fish actually look a little bit realistic for my taste on Animal Crossing, <laughs> and it made me feel a little bit sick. Mm. And then when I showed it to you, it made you, me feel a bit sick, sick again. again. Yeah, it was really, really long. It was a, a oarfish, I think it was. Yeah, it was horrible. Um, but it was like longer. Yes, everyone's saying oarfish. Oh it's my like God. longer was, than you are tall in the game. I was actually traumatised afterwards. It was horrible. Uh, Kathleen wanted to know if you got turnips today. Yeah, you did get I some did. turnips. I did, yes, you? yes. I then, because I'm out of the loop, I then played and tried to sell the turnips and got told you can't sell them on a Sunday. No, Because that's can't. when you buy them. So. And also, um, I've encountered a um, person who's being oh. shady trying to sell art. Yeah, like an art counterfeiter or like a scam artist. Yeah, so he's yeah. trying to sell me art and I'm like, stay away from me, please. Mm -hmm. Um, Madison says for a split second I thought you were talking about real fishing God no, I would never be doing that, trust me Even virtual fishing is bad enough uh, Dawn says, uh, what is a podcast? How does it work? Okay, so a podcast is like an audio vlog Yeah That's kind of how we describe a podcast Yeah 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 It's like an audio magazine us talking, basically. It's just us. It's like this um, without you being able to see us. Yeah, we basically have a different topic each. It's over on Patreon, so it's mm. a Patreon exclusive thing. Speaking and... of which, I just see Ria has just joined us oh, on Patreon. Oh, thank you, Ria. Thank you so much, Ria, if you're watching. Really appreciate that. Yeah, we do every other week. We have a podcast, and we have other things over there as well, but the podcast people seem to really enjoy, and it's available on all of the tiers as well. Yeah. Someone was just talking about how you can open an art gallery in your museum. This sounds very exciting. Yeah, this I did actually visit um whose island? What's his name? Harve. So this this person called ha Harvey, but he insists I call him Harve, which is I feel like saying I'm sorry I can't call you that, but I have to because that's just what it says. And I went there and his entire island was just like his cottage, which he's got a photo studio inside. It all seemed very iffy to me, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. Um but he <laughs> And then he was t t talking to me about inviting models to my photo shoot or something. Oh. I was like, because my copy of the game got a bug and this is some kind of doesn't very it Doesn't sound like super wholesome, does it? No. Like the rest of the game. But anyway, um, I, I was going to wait for you to go and look at that because okay. I lost interest. I'll, I'll check it out. Halfway through. Someone was saying that me. actually, if, even if you buy a painting off of this shady guy, it will still allow you to upgrade your museum. So even if oh, it's okay. like a dodgy scam like oh do you think we should buy one art. maybe we should buy one anyway because he tried to sell me a painting for forty six thousand bells or something what? and then he was like oh you're you're my your family you can have it for four thousand six hundred or something wow, that's and a I big was discount like, mm. i've worked in sales get out of here uh, ellen says harv is so <laughs> creepy yes yeah, so, i was like what is wrong with you like on about models and taking photos in your your little house no thank you but I'm assuming it's something we'll have to do. Oh, I think apparently your bow is not quite Do you know even. what? This bow um, doesn't stay even. You know, I was uh. saying um, the other night in the live stream, the red ones have got like a solid bow. This is like a fabric bow and it just doesn't sit properly and it really bugs me. You know how I feel about that, but this is the pair I've got, mm. so I kind of have to try and deal with it. 
uh, Gareth has spotted the 60 Sleeps Till Disney over there with Mr. Toad. Um, no, that is not a rebooked trip. That is just an on pause yeah, countdown. Yeah, it's, it's been there since ages ago. My current countdown, not that countdowns at the moment <laughs> are solid in any way. Um, I technically have a 48 day countdown, but I mean, who knows? And a 125 day countdown and a 162 day countdown. Mm. So those are my countdowns at the moment. <laughs> Who knows um, if any of them are happening? People are asking if you have a dodo code. I assume that's something to do with Animal Crossing. Yes, um, I'm sure we do. We will look into that for the next <laughs> live stream. I think that's so people can come and visit, right? Oh, is that what yeah, it's about? I think so. Oh no, is everyone going to invade our island? Yeah, I was going to say we might have to release it in in phases, otherwise we'll get um, get too many visitors at once. <laughs> there was something that popped up that I've now lost. Where is it um, Laura's asking, are the AirPods ah, a good investment? Yes, that's what I was looking for. Yes, they are amazing. And Ian started borrowing them. I actually yeah. foolishly said, oh, do you want to borrow my um, AirPods when you were doing some <laughs> um, gardening yesterday? We don't have a garden, gardening. but we do have a patio. We have a patio that was, was overrun with weeds. Yeah. So you borrowed them anyway. And yeah. since then, you've taken a bit They're of a liking cool. to They're them. pretty cool. They are awesome. Um, I mean, are they a good investment? I mean... Obviously, not purely as an investment. You're not going to be able to sell them on for more later, but they're definitely worth getting. They're worth, yeah. They're, they're expensive, but I have currently, I think, the last eighteen months to two years, have gone through about six different pairs of headphones mm. that either break or the sound quality is terrible yeah. or just various different problems. I think if those last for a decent amount of time, yeah. that will be the test. Is if they last two years, two and a half years, whatever, yeah. then they'll definitely be worth it because yeah. I do the same. I buy like nine ninety nine cheapy wired headphones, and just when they break, I just get another pair. Yeah. But over the course of time, I'm probably spending like two hundred quid on those, whereas I could have just got AirPods yeah. ones. But anyway, um, yeah, I also I just saw that Tiffany just joined us over on Patreon oh, as well. Thank, thank you, you so Tiffany. much, Tiffany. That's thank so you. kind of you. Um, favorite American candy? It's <sighs> hmm, mm, Megan. Let me just get I don't this right. know. For me, I think it would have to be. It's so close between peanut butter M&M's and caramel M&M's. Probably mm. peanut butter would just take it, but only at a... I just a like... Do you know what? The main thing I like about American candy is all the variety. So it's kind of like a bit of everything. You get a choice. Laura put her boyfriend's AirPods in the washing machine. Sorry, I just... Oh, but they survived, so it's okay. I need to take a moment to, to think about oh. that. Oh, and hi, MB Disney. Welcome. Hi. Uh, Paula's countdown is 507 days. Oh, Paula. I know. To be fair, though... It'll fly by. It will. And there's a silver lining to that, is that by then, you should be all right oh, with the whole coronavirus I'm thing. I'm smashing the place up Then yeah, mind my desk, though. I know. Well, oh, this chair really just keeps sinking down. You do down. need a new chair. I need a new chair. You need a new chair. I know. You should get this one. It's awesome. Um, would we do a couple's Q&A? Yeah. What does that mean? It probably means that people are going to ask <laughs> us... Oh, like how we met. Awkwardly personal questions. Okay. And what some, we, of, what some, we fight of them, about? some of them we would be willing to answer. To be fair, we've actually answered a lot of stuff on these live streams, I would yeah, say. Yeah, if you go back over the old live streams, we've talked about how we met. We talked about our first date, how I proposed, our wedding, our honeymoon. So we've mm -hmm. probably covered a lot of that. Um, but if people want a couple's live stream, we can do that. Mm -hmm. We're not going to answer any personal, personal, personal questions, but... No. <laughs> probably wouldn't want to know anyway. Um... Gracie is saying, favourite McVitie's biscuits. We have a two-limit McVitie's biscuits in Canada because of the pandemic. Oh, my. Oh, that is a nightmare. Uh, McVitie's make hobnobs, right? I don't know if they Ooh. have them in Canada, but hobnobs are top-tier biscuits. I think McVitie's... I mean, a chocolate hobnob, obviously. Actually, like, Foxes are really good biscuits as well. Yeah. We have those over here. Right? Again, probably not in Canada or the States, but mm. Foxes biscuits are some of the best. Mm. And by biscuits, we mean cookies for people who don't call them biscuits. Um, Amy's saying I watched a video, I think it was DFB Guide and the rumour is parks could open in January. Um, we, I touched on this on, in Friday's uh, live stream and I will say this, if it didn't come from Disney, it's not a thing. Yeah. End of story. Um, Disney are the only ones who are going to conclusively say when they're opening. People can speculate. There's been industry experts speculating, but it is just that. It's speculation. And despite what anyone's opinion is, and I'm not saying that one person's opinion is more valid than someone else's, but some people's opinion might be it's going to open in June. Someone else's might be not till 2021. But the fact is neither of those people have any basis yeah. for conclusively saying that the bottom line so, is yeah when disney announce something they will announce it and 
and Disney are good enough at this that it isn't going to leak in advance. No. Someone is not going to, you know, break an NDA to say something that not they know. Not with this situation. So, so no. We just have to wait and Disney will tell us something eventually. Oh my goodness, Nicola's joined us on Patreon oh, thank as well. You, thank you, Nicola, if you're watching. We Hello. really appreciate that. That's so kind. Um, but yeah, just, just try not to, because I, I started to get into the headspace of like listening to things that were happening mm. and everything else, but it's it, it really is, it's a little annoying that places are even putting that news out there because it isn't based on anything. No. I do wonder to a point whether people are doing it because they want content to put out, which, you know, not, I mean, which I'm not judging, but yeah, you know. It's, you know, it's going to get views, isn't it? Yeah. But I, I wouldn't pay any attention to anything that isn't no. official from Disney. So. If it doesn't come from Disney, it doesn't mean anything. And, there's, there and are... it's fine. If people want to speculate For and they sure, enjoy yeah. having that discussion, it helps distract them from everything that's going on. You know, each to their own is absolutely yeah. fine. I don't find it helpful for me because it's like none of it is real. Like, no. what's going to happen is going to happen and we'll find out when we find out. And unfortunately, a lot of the people who seem to be of the opinion that it's going to be next year and it's going to be this or that are very forthright with their opinions and are quite kind of, how do I put it, forceful about them. They're like, no, 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 it won't be till next year. And I'm like, okay, chill, because you don't know that. <laughs> yeah. So just calm down. <laughs> um, I think people tend to be a little bit, uh, yeah. I thought you almost it. fell off your chair. No, then, sorry, you dropped I dropped my phone. phone. <laughs> I was I was trying to grab it. You just it suddenly was... went like that, and I was like, oh my goodness. Probably looked like I was like twitching. I just um, dropped my phone. <laughs> Jodie was saying, did it work in Animal Crossing to not eat the fruit before? Yes, yes it, did. it did. We got some good so, stuff for not eating the fruit. We probably took about a week longer than everyone else who started playing Animal Crossing to figure out that in the same way that you can just bash trees with an axe to get wood, and if you eat fruit, you'll actually chop the tree down. Yes. That you could also choose to not eat fruit before you hit a rock with a with a spade, shovel they call it. Um, a flimsy shovel or flim a shovel. A I think we've got a quite flimsy shovel, haven't we? No, we've just got a shovel and a flimsy shovel. Oh, I didn't even know we'd got a regular. If people shovel. don't play Animal Crossing, this they'll be like, be "What tedious. are you talking about?" We need about? a separate live stream for Animal Crossing, so that's one. <laughs> we need a separate live stream for couples questions. Oh dear. Ria is saying, "Have I watched Belgravia? It was written by Julian Fellows too. I haven't yet, but Ian's mum actually mentioned it to me, and I think she started mm. watching. So that is next on my list. Do you know where it is? Is it like an ITV thing, or is it on?" Netflix, let me know if you yeah. know. I can find it if not, though. Uh, Lisa says it's turnip day. Did you buy? Yes, you got some turnips. I did. Uh, Megan wants to know if we've ever been to Disneyland in California. No, we haven't. No, but we really want to. Mm. Definitely. Oh, Gemma says it's on ITV Hub, Belgravia. Oh, okay, cool. So, Thank you. Might get started on that soon. I'll tell you what we have been watching because it's come back on Netflix. And it's something that I used to watch when I was younger mm -hmm. and everyone in our house used to watch it is The Vicar of Dibley. Mm. And I will say <laughs> it came out in the 90s and some of the content is a tad un -PC, to put it mildly. Yes. Um, yes. You have to view it through the prism of the time in which <laughs> yeah. it was made. And exactly. there's certainly some things there that got laughs at the time that probably shouldn't get laughs now. Where you kind of go, oh, yeah. now. But it's, you know, it's very much, for me, it's in the same bucket as, like, Friends for stuff like that. Exactly, like, yeah. There's some stuff in Friends that is like, oh, you shouldn't, like, oh. It's the same with this, I but just love the it, writing is, is just really, really so good. Funny. The characters are so funny. It's so funny. I just can't, like, I'd forgotten how funny some of it is. But there's hardly any of it. It was on for 10 years and there's only 20 episodes, I know. which is crazy. And, like, a lot of those were, like, Christmas specials and one-offs and yeah. stuff like that. There was all the comic relief ones on top of that. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, 20 episodes over 10 years. That's wild. Yeah. Um, Joey's saying, have you watched Blackfish on Netflix? No. I can't bring myself to watch it because I know that... It would really upset me, I think. I'm not a huge fan of... Um, you'll, you'll notice we... It's not something I don't want to start a controversial conversation <laughs> about it. You'll notice we don't go to SeaWorld. I have been to SeaWorld. My very first trip, yeah. I had a ticket that included it. So I've, I had, been, I've been in the past as well. Yeah, you've both been... Both in Orlando and in San Diego. On previous yeah. trips. And um, I don't like fish, so it's not somewhere... That's a problem. <laughs> yeah, anywhere like that is not really my thing, but I wanted to go and obviously just experience it. Um, but yeah, it's not really my my thing. It's more the performance element of it. Mm. Um, so obviously, Animal Kingdom, you kind of drive through on your safari and the animals are grazing around, but I'm not a huge fan of the 
performance of yeah. like the dolphins and the whales that is not me saying that anyone is wrong to go there or nope. you shouldn't go there or i'm judging people who go there please do not take it like or that. or even that what they do there is necessarily cruel or wrong no or i'm not it's saying not a any judgment. Of that. no we just, just i don't want to sit there and watch those performances because it makes me think of all those negative things yeah and all of the negative feelings that it causes people whether or not there is you know unethical treatment of animals or cruelty mm -hmm. which obviously we are against but whether even if that's not happening i don't want to i don't want to see those performances like no. it doesn't it doesn't interest me for those no, reasons same. um same. so yeah we don't really want to watch blackfish either because i think it'll probably just make us angry yes and it's gonna i, I presume it's gonna be pretty one-sided as well like a lot of these you know yeah high drama netflix type documentaries it's, it's designed to create you're you're su you're supposed to feel a certain way at the end of it and it's yeah. designed that way um somebody was saying bush gardens would i go i have been to bush gardens actually um and it's yeah i enjoyed I'd, it i'd like to do bush gardens yeah sometime. you'd like the because i'd like the rides the, there's quite yeah, a lot of the good attractions coasters. would be really good and i did the um thing where you actually feed the giraffes and it was amazing that was so good somebody was talking about the puddle scene in um vicar of dibley honestly which one so <laughs> funny yeah it, it, it's a, a reoccurring scene but that is so it's funny. very funny and also someone mentioned keeping up appearances that is yeah, actually quite so funny if you go back and watch it was it um hyacinth bucket isn't it yeah sorry okay bouquet, bouquet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you're not from the uk this is going to make no sense you know it's like that and one foot in the grave probably faulty towers people have heard of yeah elsewhere i that's love men behaving famous. badly men behaving badly was a i good know one. is also probably really bad i just yeah. remembered what we saw that had popped up on netflix red dwarf red dwarf all of red dwarf all of it the old red dwarf yeah ah. Yes, Aoife saying Only Fools and Horses. Yeah. Amazing. One Foot in the Grave, that's also Like, amazing. the 90s was kind of a golden era oh, of British really sitcoms. Was. It was. Like, it was again, amazing. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff in all of these that is unacceptable uh, by today's standards. Lucy's but... Life, do you remember The Upper Hand? I loved <laughs> The Upper Hand. It was one of my favourite, favourite things to watch. Amazing. Uh, my brother and I watched all of Red Dwarf. And yeah. we just loved it. Someone was saying, have we been to Tokyo Disney Sea? Yes, we have. Yes, loved it. It is incredible. If anyone ever gets the chance to go to Tokyo Disney Sea, if you ever happen to be near it and you can only go for one day to one of the two go parks, go to Disney Sea. Go to Disney Sea. Because, because although Disneyland Tokyo is fantastic, it is awesome, yeah. if you've been to Magic Kingdom or probably if you've been to Disneyland California, you've already seen what that's like. Yeah. It does have unique things, of course, but Disney Sea is unlike anything else. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to go there. Gemma said, what's the sitcom that was in the Leisure Centre? The British Empire. British Empire, yeah. yes. That was funny as well. Same actor that plays... <laughs> it's, um, what's his name? The guy who plays Rimmer in yeah, I can't uh, Red Dwarf as well. Um, someone will tell us in the chat. Chris... Chris someone? Dawn saying Mr Bean. Yeah, I yeah, loved classic. Mr Bean when I was a kid. Someone's asking who is my favourite singer. So, my favourite singer is Celine Dion. <laughs> I am obsessed with Celine Dion. I love her, not just with her singing. I think she is, for someone who has been so famous for such a long time, she hasn't ever got drawn into like stupid drama and stuff like that. I think that she is, I love how wacky she is, but in the best way possible. Her positivity with everything she's been through is amazing. And I went to see her at the Coliseum in Vegas and I swear it was one of the best things I've ever done in my life. I was so kind of like starstruck. And, the, <laughs> and in the Coliseum, it's not like a concert venue that you think of, um, like huge, huge concerts. It's actually quite small. So wherever you're sitting, you get like a good view and oh, it was so good. It was so good. It was incredible. Well, Philippa and Lee, who, by the way, I think they mentioned a minute ago that they're one of the people who's just joined us on Patreon. Oh, so well, thank, thank you so you. much for doing that. They were asking what I was drinking, so I thought we could talk oh, okay. about that. Um, so I have got some kombucha. I've got some kombucha as well, which I haven't started yet. So this is, what brand is this? Remedy. Remedy kombucha. So this came in your Degusta box. Yes. Which is a subscription box that you do an unboxing of on your other channel, mm -hmm. Victoria, in detail every month? Monthly? Yes, monthly. Yeah. Um, I've had kombucha once before. I think I had it when I was on a work trip in uh, Oregon. I think I had it one lunchtime. I didn't really know what it was, but it's mm. nice. Yeah, I haven't tried mine yet, but it does look good. A lot of Celine, mm. Celine Dion fans out there, excellent. I also saw her in Hyde Park. If anyone remembers when she was in Hyde Park last year, I think it was, myself mm. and my mum went to see her and it was amazing. So good. Uh, sorry, just reading some comments. Mm. Uh oh. Oh dear. Gra Gracie is saying that kombucha has some effects that 
might not be desirable. Okay. <laughs> I did. I didn't. For that I didn't read that on the can. What a can that size does something like that? I'm looking for like a warning now. <laughs> That's concerning. Oh dear. Well, Who is your favourite singer? Oh, um, I don't know. I mean, you're a big Guns N' Roses fan. Yeah, yeah. I went to see Guns yeah. N' Roses when they did their last tour. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't say that like Axl Rose is my favourite singer because he's barely a singer to be fair. I was going to say that would be a stretch, <laughs> but you know. Um, I don't really know. I don't really know. Hmm. That's my, my music tastes are very eclectic, so I don't have kind of like one or two favourite bands. I love lots of different stuff. Yeah. Oh, Natalie just joined Patreon. Thank you, oh, Natalie. Oh, thank you, Natalie. That's so kind. We're so grateful to everyone for supporting us over there. It we is really amazing. are. Um, Heidi, who, sorry Heidi, we haven't been ignoring you, I have seen you saying this in chat, um, she says that we should consider making uh, frushi in our test kitchen, so... Possibly. You might have a go at some frushi. Maybe. I will... Seems we can't get anything for baking, maybe we'll make some frushi. Yeah, I could, yeah that could be an option. Um, and then Eva was asking about the Tokyo parks, whether they're close to each other, like in Disneyland Paris. Yes, basically they are They're next not door. Not that close. Not as close as Disneyland no, Paris. So no, so not like um, you know, in California as well, they're like opposite each other, and they're same in Paris. They're not that close, but no. they are closer than it's like, like a Disney World. It's the same monorail stop, right? And you just go down out of two different. Mm, I think. Oh, they got their own monorail. Yeah, stops? they've got their own okay. monorail stops. They're very close. Like yeah. when you're going round on the monorail, you see the entrance to Disney Sea, and then like ten seconds later, you see the entrance to Disneyland. So they're very close. You can walk from one park entrance to the other, right? Um, I think so. We didn't. Mm. We took the monorail because we did it on on different days. But um, yeah, I think maybe you can walk. I don't know. See, we were only there for two days. This is why we should have gone again. We need to go again. Yeah. Well, we were supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sam wants to know what takeaway that's not available now are we craving? Oh. I know that you are craving one specific Chinese takeaway that we yeah. have here. There's one Chinese um, that we love in our town and it's closed, which is a massive bummer. And they don't deliver in any case, so we just can't have it. And they were cash only. Yeah. So they're like not set up for lockdown it's at like, all. It's like super vintage. You know those kind of Chineses that are super vintage, but like really, really nice? It's one of those. I know you'll know what I mean. Yeah. And then we've had a couple from like uh, delivery places that just weren't very good. Yeah, I feel like Chinese, once you find the good Chinese Nothing in the place where do. you live, you can't make do with any others. Um, also, we are missing McDonald's. Yeah, I do we, like we used McDonald's. to have the old McDonald's and we liked it. And yeah, Shah is saying as well, KFC is another one. Yeah, do we do KFC. miss that. Bummer. Yeah, so we're missing a lot of takeaways. Grace is like, yes, old school Chinese cash only. <laughs> yeah, I know you know what I mean. They're, there's always one, but they're usually really, really good. Mm. Like better than most. Uh, Nunu's asking, "Did we watch Better Call Saul?" I did. I just finished season three today, and it was very, yeah, very good. It's not. It's not really your thing. No, not really. You my didn't thing. watch Breaking Bad either, did no, you? No, I didn't. No. It's unbelievable that we're married. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Ella Saint KFC is open where she lives. Oh. Oh wow. Jealous. Oh, oh and people? Madison as well. What? What the heck? Oh, now we're jealous. I think they are. Really Mad <laughs> Madison says, "Thank the Lord for Taco Bell right now." I mean, I think um, I did read something about McDonald's reopening and then I yeah. thought to myself, wait a second though, could just be the rumour mill. But then McDonald's in their story said something about it. So maybe it is true. I heard, I heard mutterings about May. Yeah, mid-May is what May. I heard. Yeah. yeah. Oh, KFC is open in Glasgow. Oh. oh. Right, let's get in the car. Yeah. Road trip to Glasgow. That would be Libby brilliant. says KFC is open for deliveries in her area as well. This is nonsense. Why is our KFC not open? I don't know. Nothing's I, open. I appreciate, and I am joking. We're joking. These, these are very much first world problems. And in fairness, the last thing we need at the moment is more takeout because yeah. we're not getting out and about. I feel like gaining any more weight mm. would not be a good thing. KFC's open in Bristol. Oh. What is going on? Oh. Oh, Becky's here and she thinks the drive through is open in Mackey's. Oh. Oh, Becky, Oh, it's which... opening. So maybe not is, yet. Oh, did she say opening? By the way, hi. Oh, yeah. Hi, Becky. I'm going to message you after this because I <laughs> keep meaning to. And Becky, did you see your cameo in the vlog yesterday? <laughs> that I was know. really good. A lot of people said hi to you. Innit? Also, Becky, message us on WhatsApp or something and tell us which Mackey's is opening the drive-thru because <laughs> I want to know. Um, oh, yeah, Corey is saying she's got one Starbucks open. It's about 20 or 30 minutes wait, but it's totally worth it. <laughs> Oh, when you had Mackie's breakfast this morning. Oh. What? Corey, I'm jealous. jealous. 
Very jealous. Although Corey's in the US, right? I yeah. think. So the breakfast at Mackey's there is a little bit different to what we get over here, I think. Oh, okay. Like, I'm not as jealous of a US Mackey's breakfast. Oh, really? I don't I think thought so. it was similar. No, don't think so. Maybe it is. I don't know. Are people allowed to get out and walk their dogs where you are? Yes. Yeah. Um, they are, but... I think people are stretching it a little bit. So you're mm. supposed to go for no more than an hour a day to walk and stick obviously within your family group. You're not supposed yeah. to meet up with anyone and you're still supposed to social distance. But I think some people are kind of attempting to go somewhere in their car to then go yeah. and walk. And obviously that's not the idea. You're supposed there was, to be I think like, the police put out some advice the other day that said if you're... It's okay to travel somewhere to exercise, but if you're spending longer traveling than you are exercising... Then it's not okay. That's probably not cool. Um, but yeah, I don't think the advice in the UK has really changed at all since lockdown started, has it? It's just no, that people you, are... you shouldn't go out except for essential shopping, uh, like delivering medicine, looking after elderly or vulnerable people, to work if you must, and once a day for exercise. Yeah. And that if you do go out, you have to social distance. Keep but two people meters are rested. relaxing it. People are relaxing own, it a lot. Of their own decision, which is not good. Uh, we Where we live, we're on a main road. So over Easter and around there, like the week leading up to it and stuff, it was really quiet. There was hardly anyone around. And now, like every day, we can mm. hear so many cars on the road in comparison. So Sorry, I'm not laughing at that. that. Emily just says, I miss chicken nuggets so much. Oh, I know. I can relate. We, we were fans of the nug. <laughs> Do you like McDonald's nugget? Um, Starbucks withdrawal, yeah. Oh, Madison, yeah, I had well. a bit of withdrawal last month. Gemma says, oh, we're in South End and we had sunbathers on the beach. I know, it's unreal. I've seen footage of like Australia and some of the beaches in the States as well, where it's just like, there's big signs saying, you know, keep your distance, social distancing, COVID-19, all the rest of it. And the beaches are just full. I saw a picture the other day, and I don't, I don't know whether this, I didn't fact check this or anything, but it was apparently a picture of a beach somewhere in the US, like half an hour after it was announced that you're allowed to go outside, and it was just the beach was just full of people. I just think. Ray saying their neighbours had someone stay over this weekend. Yeah, it's stuff like that. It's just uh, so annoying, and I. We I try knew, not to talk about this stuff on the yeah, live stream. Yeah, we try not to, but it is, it, it is it's infuriating. It's so annoying, and especially when. All of us, all we want to do is just get back to some kind of normality. I'm not saying it will just be mm. overnight, but the more people are messing around and flouting the rules, the longer it will take. Yeah. Which is very annoying. Yeah. Oh no, it's, Lucy's it's craving annoying. Burger King now. Ooh. Uh, Carolyn's got mega Starbucks withdrawals. Your neighbours had a family barbecue. Oh, See, what people Victoria. should be doing is having a barbecue and then they're like brother and sister-in-law whoever have a barbecue at their house and your parents have a barbecue at their house everyone switch on their their yeah. zoom or Live whatever stream, yeah. and have a virtual barbecue exactly. together but just stop going near each other <laughs> oh small joy one is saying that that picture i saw is a fake it's a stock picture from a different beach i did wonder whether maybe it was for sensationalist reaction Shocker. But regardless there definitely <laughs> is stuff going on that is very very wrong yeah for unfortunately. sure um, Laura wants to know whether we watched the virtual fireworks show. I didn't know that there was one going yeah, on. Yeah, there was, because I mentioned it. I actually didn't end up watching it, but then yesterday I watched a bunch of firework videos. It was like a firework playlist. So I think there was Wishes, Happily Ever After, and then some of oh, the cool. ones from parties and stuff like that, which was pretty cool. Nicola says that the corn crispy nuggets taste like Mackey D's Yeah, nuggets. they do. Oh. They're pretty good. You've mm. had them. I've given Yes, them. that's true. That's Ian true. probably didn't even know they weren't chicken, maybe. Yeah, I probably just thought you'd ordered <laughs> Mackey's in. Oh, Becky said the fireworks made me shed a tear. Aww. Honestly, at the moment, whenever I watch the Imagineering story, whenever I'm editing Disney vlogs, and whenever I see anything... Um, like looking back on the vlogs to come up with the quiz questions and stuff like that, it keeps making me feel like I'm going to burst out mm, crying because I, I, was, I actually just said to you this afternoon, do you find that whenever you see anything like a Disney vlog and do, do you just so feel like you took it for advantage to, yeah, just completely yeah. didn't appreciate that we could have just gone to Disney, walked around the mm, park, done whatever, yeah. not had to think about it and... I was doing that literally in February, and yeah. now there's kind of this madness. Oh, that's so sad. Ria has just posted in the comments about something that happened, and that that is really sad, Ria. I'm so sorry for you. Oh, no. so I'm just reading it now. 
Yeah, oh I can I can totally understand so why sorry. that makes you mad. That is uh, uh, this horrible. that's exactly the kind of thing that is just so not cool. And this I is just it. wish I, I've said to you throughout like... this thing, haven't I, that it's just really sad that for some people it's not gonna hit home until it's someone they know that's yeah. suffering and I just I feel really bad for you, Rhea, that you've had to suffer because of that. So Oh that's awful. Condolences to you. Definitely. won't even be able to run into the shops anymore <laughs> no uh bonnie's asking about uh blaze pizza versus deluxe burger for an out-of-pocket dinner price i mean you'd wise, always go blaze well price wise blaze pizza is way cheaper than deluxe burger because at deluxe burger you have to buy your fries and your drink True. and your burger and everything True. separately and it is a little pricey for quick service so purely based on price blaze pizza is definitely cheaper it's but basically 10 bucks just under for the create your own pizza yeah and then obviously if you want a drink um but deluxe burger is really good and in deluxe burger they do bring your food over to your table and stuff mm -hmm. so they're both really good they're both great i mean yeah. if you have the opportunity to do both on a trip i would just say do both if you can only do one i think it boils down to are you a pizza person or are you a burger person yeah like which do you prefer because they're prefer? both great places you can't really compare them California Grill versus Homecoming, California Grill. Although Homecoming is awesome. We told you the story about my... You, you have some remnant bad feelings <sighs> bad about feeling. Homecoming, which is not Homecoming's fault. No. Just bad, bad scenario. But uh, yeah, they are both really, really good. Uh, Amy's asking about the dining plan and whether there's anywhere to find the best information. Best place to find information on the dining plan is probably on the Disney website itself. You can look up the Disney dining plan there. Alternatively, I think there's some really good information on Disney Food Blog. Yeah, they And probably on All Ears things. as well. I think both those sites and tend to have very good dining information. I may have a video coming out soon. Spoiler alert. Mm, keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> uh, Lucy's Life says, I love both pizza and burgers. Well, then you're just going to have to go to both. You might just have you're to You're going to have to do Blaze one night and Deluxe or another Or go night. to one for lunch and one for dinner. Even better. <laughs> Um, someone start, uh, Haley is saying I've started a travel photo album during lockdown from past travels and it's making me miss traveling. Oh, that's so sad. Do you know what I've done actually? Do you think everyone wants to see my new frame? Oh yeah, go and get it. I think people are like On that, that note, yeah. Uh, Emily says burgers on pizza. I'm certain that that's been done, but sure, that's one way to solve the problem. Go to Deluxe, get your burgers, pop into Blaze, and when they ask you toppings, Say these burgers, please. Uh, the Dunn family say, when I hear plus tax, how much extra on the price on the shelf? Um, 6.5%. Yeah, sales tax in Florida is, is about 6 or 7%. 6 Someone will tell us. I think, think 6.5, yeah. So I got given this frame for Christmas ages ago. We're talking several years ago. And um, it's taken me ages to get the right kind of photos to put <laughs> on. And I finally got round to it. And I just love how this has come out. So. Do you want me to hold it and you can, oh, you got it. I'm just wondering if you'll be able to see it. Basically, it's one of these little peg frames. If I tilt it back a bit. Yeah, I can hold it, there you go. Don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but basically I've got, so it starts in November, 2008, and then I couldn't fit every single trip. I've got 2008, 2013, 15, 16, 17, 18, another 18, 2019 and 2020. Yeah, and so they're like on like little each, strings. Each little photo is. Yeah, and yeah. you can you can get the photos with this printed on. Yeah. So I thought that was cute. It's really cool. So that's been a little project that I've done the last week. And it was uh, really hard to decide. I got more photos, but I could. I thought there were twelve spots, but it turns out there's only. Yeah, you had to trim. Yeah, there's you, only nine. You weren't happy about making some cuts. I had to leave out Paris and Tokyo and just go for like the Disney World oh trips. My. Um, do I have all the Starbucks mugs from the parks? No, I actually only have one, uh, which is this Epcot one, which I've been using. And this one I got at the outlets, so I think it was only about $7 or something, which is not the regular price, so I'm not sure how much they are. Are you going to open your kombucha? I am. So I've got raspberry lemonade. Oh yeah, I didn't kombucha. say. Mine was cherry plum. Is it good? It was good, yeah. I was going to try it, but apparently you Apparently it. you don't get to. No, I'll take your word for it. It's sugar free as well, so that's good. I'm a bit scared to drink it after what someone told me. Oh yeah, it's not it's not really sweet, is it? It's like no, because it's it's tea, isn't it? Effectively, mm. 
But it's, it's like carbonated nice. as well. Yeah, it's nice. Pretty nice. Oh no, someone's in there. The worst bug at Disneyland Paris and was sick. Oh, yikes. That's not good. Getting sick on a vacation is bad. Natalie says, is it alcoholic? No. That's what I was wondering. It isn't. No. But when I read about kombucha, usually it's, well, what I read said usually it is just very slightly alcoholic. Maybe if it's but like this fermented one or something, yeah. but it's, it's not alcohol, no. This one is not alcoholic. Or at least it doesn't say that it is, which I assume they'd have to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Matt is asking, are there buses from parks to parks? Yes, for the most part, I think there is. Occasionally, they start a little bit later. So say you're at Hollywood Studios and you want to go from there to Magic Kingdom. There should be a bus, but it may not be super, super early. They tend to run the buses to get everybody to the parks. Then there might be one. And I know Disney Springs, you can get buses normally after, I want to say, 3 or 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. So from any of the parks to Disney Springs is in the afternoon. Someone can probably correct me if I'm wrong on that, though. Uh, Danielle's asking how easy the Skyliner is to use. Super easy. Very easy. So, so easy. Get in line. Cast member will call you forward, tell you which pod to get in. Get in. Sit down. And wait I've, till you get there. It's I've easy. not experienced any long waits for it, either. No. Even when I was there in February and the crowds were crazy, the Skyliner never yeah. had a line. And I was there for the opening day of the Skyliner, and it wasn't even crazy then. So. No, absolutely. It's... it's because it's constant loading, I think it just people just flow onto it. It's yeah, very, very good. It's really um, good. It's not air conditioned. Um, no. To answer Christine's question, however, there are flaps that you can open. So if it's particularly warm, you can crack those open, and then you get some air flowing. Through. It is quite breezy. Yeah. So as long as you're moving, the the one thing that I can see being a problem is if it's like middle of July mm. and it breaks down. And, or not even just breaks down, but like stops for a period of time. Yeah. You just stifled a yawn. I saw it. I know. <laughs> Sorry, I keep calling out your yawns now. Um, then it could get hot because there's like no breeze coming in. But for the most part, it's pretty breezy. Uh, can you please say hello to Caitlin? She loves your vlogs. Hi, Hi Caitlin. Caitlin. Um, oh, someone's saying they're going in August, September if the trip goes ahead. Yeah, I mean, the Skyliner is great. As long as you're not really afraid of heights or anything, it's such a good way to, to get around. And I love it. It's amazing. Uh, oh, no, that's... That's gone. Okay. <laughs> Do you recommend staying at more than one hotel if you're going for two weeks? When it comes to staying in different hotels, it's entirely up to you whether you like to, some people just like to kind of set up in the room they're going to be in for two weeks and just stay there. And the idea of like repacking everything and moving sounds like a nightmare. To me, the reason I do it quite a bit is because I like to try different resorts. And often with DVC, if I've booked a trip like less than seven months ahead of time and there's not much availability sometimes with dvc resorts there might not be like a week available anywhere but you could do two days in one and three days in another or whatever it is mm. and as long as you um are willing to sort of hop around a little bit you can get availability so that's why i do it a little bit more but it's good to try out new resorts if you think yeah. you might want to do that kaylee is interested in whether she should splurge on a savannah view at animal kingdom lodge it is amazing, I will say. The one time I stayed in a Savannah View, I actually didn't book a Savannah View. We just lucked out and got an upgrade, but I wouldn't want to rely on that. And now I've had that view, if you've got, yeah, if, if, you, if you can afford it or if it's points and you've got enough points, I would go for it because it is amazing. Becky will probably vouch for that. Um, <laughs> her and I stayed in the Savannah View and it was so good. It was amazing. Um, oh, I missed. Uh, Dawn was just asking when the next podcast is. We recorded it today, Dawn, and it will be up on Wednesday. Yes. Sorry, just having a look at these. Right. Catherine's asking if we have a full video about DVC. Not yet. We are going to do one I think soon or a live stream. Yeah, maybe. we decided we were going to do it as a live stream. Not one of our routine ones like this, because I know it's not something everybody wants to mm. listen to. So when we decide to do it, we will obviously put out there that it is going to be one about DVC and yeah. for people to ask DVC questions. Have you ever eaten at Papa John's? <sighs> Have we? Yes. Yeah. It's our, it's our favorite pizza of choice. We're not yeah. Domino's or, um, pizza, pizza hut, hut fans, no. particularly. It's, it's worth understanding as well that the selection of pizza in the UK is quite poor compared to yeah. a lot of places in the States. Like if you live in like New York or Chicago or something, the idea of saying that Papa John's is the best pizza available is probably a travesty. Yeah, so, for sure. Um, we just are limited on what we have to choose from. 
Uh, Jenny oh. is asking. Oh yeah. If you could open a magical door and chat to Walt, what would you ask or Ooh. say? I think we answered a similar question on the last stream I was on. The Patreon one we yeah. did. Oh, yeah. it was on the Patreon stream. Yeah. Well, I'll answer again then. Um, I would want to know what he. Th well, we both gave a we similar answer. We both gave answer, the same answer, which is yeah. we'd want to know what he thinks of what the parks have become and yeah. what Disney has become. Like, what does he like about it? I think he'd be blown away with like the technology and the yeah. advancements that they've made. Um, I would just want to know what does he think of it and how closely does it align to his kind of vision of yeah. what he wanted. And especially you thought Epcot, you'd be really yeah. interested to know. What he Obviously thinks. it didn't turn out the way he'd envisaged it as an actual working city, but what, what would he think of that? Would he still mm. like it? Because it's your favourite park, it'd be great yeah. to think it might be his favourite park And as well. I think as well, like when you watch the Imagineering story and hear Walt speaking about what he wanted Disney World to be, mm. I think it, for the most part, is what he wanted it to yeah. be, and I think he would love that. So I would love to be able to hear him say yeah. what he thinks of it. Yeah, for sure. Old Sam says that the latest episode of the Imagineering story touches on that a bit. Oh, so okay, that's interesting. that's interesting. Yeah, definitely want to see that. Someone's asking, what kind of games do you play? That's to you. Oh, um, I play a bit of poker, and I've recently got back into chess, mm -hmm. playing a lot of chess. Um, I've been practicing my Crokinole, and yeah, Netrunner like you that. play as well. Netrunner is a card game that I'm very, very into. Yeah, so things like that. Uh, so I'm just reading a couple of questions. Do I travel with my MacBook? Is it safe to leave in the room, or does it fit in the in-room safes? I think it's always fit in the safe. I can't remember ever being at a Disney room where we haven't been able to put it in the Some of the, the older safe. rooms, I know the all-star resorts, the old um, rooms that haven't been refurbished yet, it's very tight, but I think it does fit. And in most other safes, it's like way big enough to put it in. Yeah. I do always travel with it because I have way too much footage to store on memory cards. So mm. I do have to take it with me to take off my footage. Yes, Dawn, some of the safes are very small. Luckily, laptops are also very small. <laughs> yeah, it's so annoying. They are really tiny. Um, uh, oh, interesting question from Rebecca about yeah, whether, yeah, if there's anything on your last trip you would have done differently if you'd known you weren't going to be able to go back for a while. Yes. <laughs> uh, I would have gone for longer, <laughs> for sure. I would have gone earlier than I did and gone for like three weeks if I'd have known. I would have... Do you know what? I don't know how many different things I would have done, as in like, go here, go there. But I would have taken things in and appreciated them mm. so much more. I would have just soaked in every second of what I was doing because I just could not have imagined that this is where we'd be right now and not knowing when we can go again and all that kind of thing. So yeah, mm. I, I feel like I would have photographed every inch of <laughs> everywhere that I went. I would have taken three times the amount of vlog footage, you know, so many things, so many things. And it's crazy to think as well, like when I was there, the coronavirus was happening over in mm. Asia. Like it was, it was definitely something that people were starting to become concerned mm. about, but we were nowhere near being locked down or anything like that. Um, so at the time it was still safe to, to travel, otherwise I wouldn't have, but yeah, it's so crazy. Um, Dawn's asking what time the podcast is. It will depend, Dawn, on <laughs> whether I've got it um, edited in time or whether it's a last minute job again. I'm hopeful it will be edited in time, but yeah. it will go up sometime in the evening. It's on usually Wednesday, evening. UK time in yeah. the evening. But you should, if you're on Patreon, you should get a notification as soon as that post goes up. You should, I think, get an email. Yeah. It might depend on your settings, so have a look. Um, when do I realistically think Disney World will reopen, in my opinion? I don't really like to speculate because it's impossible to know. One thing I will say is I think it will either be soon, like quite soon, like June, like they were talking about, or later in the year. Do you see what I mean? Like, I feel, yeah. for some reason... You feel like I, it's quite polarised. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it's quite polarised. I feel like if it's not going to be soon, then it might be a while, because if it's not going to be soon, it means they can't come to a conclusion of how they can make it happen and if they can't come to a conclusion how they can make it happen then I don't think that's going to happen overnight but that is purely my opinion I have nothing to base that on whatsoever uh, so I really really don't know but yeah Amy's saying I meant when you went in February not for coronavirus am I reading that wrong no I think I think we understood yeah 
Like, if, if you'd known when you were if there I'd in February known, yeah. that you weren't going to be able to go for a yeah. while. I think so. Let us know if we've misunderstood Amy. Yeah. Will I still be travelling in June if it's open? Um, it depends on several things. I think if it is open in June, it might be the international travel still isn't allowed. Mm -hmm. So that could be an issue. And it just depends on certain things being in place, like what they've decided in terms of social distancing measures. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. Um, what is it about Mr. Toad that I love so much? He is a very unique character. To be honest, I love Mr. Toad because of how wacky he is and the fact that he's just really extra. Like, he dresses really sharp yeah. and he's wacky. That's why I like him. He's cool. He's just awesome. He likes you too. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Toad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people are saying flights haven't been cancelled yet. I think in a lot of cases they won't be till the last minute. I think you could obviously reach out and say about cancelling them. But yeah, it's, um, it's difficult. It's difficult to know. That's one of the things I've been finding really difficult is just not knowing what's going to happen in terms of travel plans and not being able to get through to your travel providers and airlines and yeah. stuff because they're dealing with so many different people. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty tough. Definitely. Uh, Christina was asking what our home resort is for DVC. It is Grand Floridian. Yes, the Grand Floridian. Yes, which we have stayed at once. We finally got um, around to it, didn't we? Why do I feel like we stayed there more than once? Uh, oh, we were there for the that? wedding trip. And that was it, I thought. I don't remember staying there another time. Maybe we haven't. Maybe, maybe you reason, have and I haven't. No, I haven't. The reason that we own there and don't stay there very often is mostly because it's expensive for points to stay mm -hmm. there but when we bought in there wasn't really a lot of choice of where yeah. to buy in so that's kind of how that happened if we get more dvc points we would get them at a different resort yeah. so that we've got some in like different places yeah um where do we love to go on holiday apart from disney vegas yeah i love vegas we actually loved cape verde we went yeah last really good. year in january 2019 yeah, I think so. Yeah, and it was really good. We really loved it there. And it was warm in January, which was a dream. Um... Uh, do we think December will be extra crowded because of everything that's gone on? I mean, I think, yeah, the whole rest of this year is likely to be affected, isn't it? Whenever they do reopen, it's bound to get busy, I, I think. I think it could go one of two ways. I think that one thing I'm hearing a lot of people saying is that if things are drastically different because of social distancing, they might not want to go because mm. they're not going to get the full experience. And I honestly, honestly think that things might be different because I don't, I don't see that they can just open the parks back up and then no. off we go because there's going to be a problem. So there could be things like we've talked about, maybe character meet and greets not happening, buffet restaurants mm. not being open, um, parades and fireworks not happening. And for a lot of people that, might might put them off yeah. because they they want to be able to do those things understandably so i guess as well it's highly likely that they'll limit numbers as well yeah so it just won't be possible for the parks to get that busy how they do that is going to be very tricky though mm. um in terms of like who's allowed in yeah so i don't know we will see all of this is just us speculating but it'll either be really crowded or, or really, really quiet, quiet. Yeah. i think it'll be one or the other um, best time to book Ohana dinner to watch the fireworks. I normally think around 7.30 is my what I usually go for. Yeah. Depending what's happening, the fireworks are usually between 9 and 10 p.m., uh, depending what the time of year is. So you could always check what time the fireworks will be on the day that you're looking to book and then figure it out from there. Uh, Holly wants to know how long we think they should wait before giving up on the free Disney dining for 2021. Um, P.S. Please say hi to my fiancé, Liam. Who I've made, who I have made watch. This oh, watch life. this evening's yeah. lives. Sorry, Holly, that is not your writing. No, That's that my it. ability to read. <laughs> hi, Liam. So, hi, Liam, and hi, Holly. Um, it's very hard to say, isn't it? Until Disney yeah. say something, we just don't know what's going to happen with whether there's going to be free dining or what shape it might. It's really be. hard to say. I think at the moment, things like this they will have had in place for. So, what they plan to do this year, I'm sure they had decided like a year ago. This has obviously thrown everything out of the window and um, everything that they're deciding in terms of mm. when the parks will reopen, what that's going to look like, how it's going to affect next year, that's meant that they're going to have to reassess things. Um, 
I would hang fire for the moment though. It normally would have been released by now, but only maybe like last week. So it's yeah. not super, super, you know, yeah. um, late in being announced. So yeah, we'll see. I mean, at the moment, it's so difficult to advise anybody what to do. It's risky if you mm. book and don't have a... I mean, everything that I have booked is flexible and I can cancel so I don't I don't think I have anything that I'm stuck with and Disney certainly would never refuse to refund you money if they're closed mm -hmm. yeah. so you know I don't think it's as long as you're not at financial risk you could go ahead and book things but yeah, yeah it's 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 going to be different for everyone and yeah. I think over the coming weeks we'll start to get more of an idea maybe which direction things are heading in in terms of their talks yeah. about reopening and stuff but it's it really is just a case of wait and see and i am so impatient that <laughs> it's just torture uh oh Aoife says that mr toad should wear his magic band for safekeeping that is a very good point pascal Aoife. does wear a magic band so yeah but mr. mr toad should wear the mr, wear toad, the mr. Magic toad magic band, magic band. i will do that Aoife. i don't know where that is but we will do i that. think i know where it is so mm -hmm. i'll go and grab that later do we think the first pass system will change due to demand? Quite possibly. Yeah. It depends what they do. If they decide to have a virtual queue system, that could change the the game entirely on fast passes and stuff. So I just don't know. Yeah, it's really difficult. All of this is just guesswork and we won't know what's going to happen until it happens. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, like uh, Megan's asking whether we think that Disney will refund you if they're open, but we can't travel to the USA. Again, I would only be guessing. I would hope so. I would hope I that would Disney would recognise so. that as a, you know, a situation yeah. where it's fair to do that. But I would imagine so, yeah. It won't be up to us, that's for no. sure. So we'll have to see what they do. Yep. Have we got any pets? No, unfortunately we're no. not allowed pets where we live. No, we would love to have a little dog, wouldn't we? Yeah, we would. A little rescue dog. Mm. Um, sorry, just reading some <laughs> questions. Were we going to do the quiz? Yes. Should we get what on we, to that? How are we doing for time? Well, we've we've oh. been on an hour and a half, so I was just thinking we should probably, probably is time get into quiz. the quiz. So anyone who hasn't seen the previous quizzes, what Victoria has done is she's looked back on one vlog episode yep. from a particular point in time. And it will be a trip where both me and you were there, right? And you've got five questions. Five questions. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm laughing at something. And what? Well, you're trying... That someone's comment has been moderated because they said cock is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Philip and Lee. Sorry. I have, I have approved that comment I'm now. I'm so immature. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, continue. Continue. There'll be five questions and we all get to laugh at how little I can remember about a trip that I was on. Yes. Yes. Are you okay there? I am. You I'm are sorry. A child. I'm sorry. I know. Absolute child. I know. I really am. For sorry. clarity, Philippa and Lee say their cocker spaniel is called Bellfire, named upon, uh, named after Once Upon a Time. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. And now they are laughing at you. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so yes, quiz today is, as always, based on an episode. And today, um, which is Sunday, yes, would have been the day. Well done. <laughs> Congrats for knowing that. That is actually achievement, knowing that at the moment. Um, today is the day we would have landed back in the UK from Tokyo Disney. Okay. Does that so, play into the episode that you've chosen? For that reason, we are going to Tokyo for this quiz. Exciting. So let's see who is ready for a Tokyo quiz. Corey's saying that uh, she and Felicity are quiz ready. Nice. Um, the Dunn family know that it's quiz time, but Katie's not watching. I think Katie is part of the Dunn family. Oh, okay. But sorry about that, Katie. You can watch back later. Maybe Katie can yeah. do the quiz after the fact. You can do it after the fact, for sure. Yeah. Uh, Laura's so, ready for the quiz. Excellent. So yes, I think everyone is raring to go. Emily is still laughing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so... Any time. This is the reason I could never do anything like TV presenting. Because I can't... If something like that happens, I can't let it go. I can't not laugh. I can't ignore it. You know who you remind me of who? in that respect? Holly Willoughby. Yeah. Like probably. all of the outtakes that are on YouTube of her and Scott just, just absolutely losing their... Yeah. Rag. <laughs> Not losing their rag, that doesn't make if sense. If something like that gets said, <laughs> I'm just like... Anyway, moving uh, on. Oh no, Heidi hasn't watched any of the Tokyo vlogs, uh -oh. so they haven't been studying that. You're going to have to be doing some guessing mm. then for this one, but that's still fine. You might still get some. There's a lot of people saying they love your sense of humour. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. 
Back to back to reality. Yes. I've got notifications popping up here that are annoying me. Okay. There we go. Right. So you're going to read the question. Yep. I'm going to not look at the chat for a moment uh -huh. and figure out what my answer is so there's no cheating. Yes. Um, and you know that I'm not cheating because last time I only got three out of five. I am just so. going to check something though before I uh, Ooh. say something incorrect <laughs> as to which episode we're talking about oh, here right. because okay. that could throw people way off and we could end up with the wrong... Wrong thing Laura is mean. saying, uh, I wish we could do a zoom and see everyone's pets. I want to see the dogs. Oh, that would be that cool. would be cool. That would be very cool. So I'm just making sure I'm on the right episode here because that could be be disastrous. <laughs> Amy's saying it reminds her of Chandler with the uh, duties. <laughs> no, anything like what? that. I'm just what, what would be your, your duties? Duties? Uh... I have very immature humor, I'm afraid. You know, poo. <laughs> I just can't. Right, anyway. Oh, anyway. Uh, I did oh, that. Beth Bethany says, OMG, I have a cockapoo. <laughs> now, that comment didn't get moderated. <laughs> it let that through. Yeah, it's obviously very selective. Clearly, cocker spaniels are not allowed, but cockapoos are fine. I can't, fo I can't focus. Do you know what I just did then? Do you ever look at your watch or your phone to see what time it is and then realise that you didn't... You didn't look. You didn't yeah. take it in? I just did that with what I was doing. Right, okay. okay. Also, uh, Gareth has a shih tzu. Just saying. <laughs> Although the spelling there is obviously not... Um... Not Yeah, it doesn't come out rude. Yeah. Okay, now now people are typing things that are to not try. rude, but they are getting moderated. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Emily says, this is the wildest Saturday night I've had in a while. <laughs> it is Sunday night, right? Because <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> I, just, I, I just had a, a moment there. Uh, Emily, maybe you're about to find out some bad news, but certainly where we are, it's Sunday night. Do you so. know what? I think we have all got a very major case of lockdown uh, craziness going on. Right, let's let's do a quiz and try and yes. bring ourselves back to <laughs> some kind of normality. Everyone's just laughing now. Oh no. <laughs> right, okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, quiz. Serious let's quiz. Let's get our game faces on here because we're going to do Forget about the Shih Tzus and the Cocker Spaniels <laughs> and the Cocker Poos. Yes. Oh, Madison, Madison saying, says, can we declare it Saturday? I feel like you know we should what, be Madison? able to. You may as well, because while we're in lockdown, you know, what does it matter, really? Let's start a revolution. It's Saturday night. <laughs> Every day may as well be Saturday. <laughs> right. Are we actually ready? I am actually ready okay. for the question. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look away from the chat. Yeah, stop looking at amusing <laughs> comments. So, <clears throat> this vlog, this vlog, this quiz, <laughs> I can't, I just She's can't. going well. This has all just gone completely out the window now. Right, this quiz is based on the Tokyo Disneyland, so okay. the first park that we did, mm -hmm. and it's episode two of the vlogs. So okay. there were six vlogs in total. This is based on episode two of those vlogs. So are we ready? Okay, I'm looking away. Okay. So this vlog episode begins with us riding an attraction in Tokyo Disneyland Park. Which attraction is it? Okay. Is it Haunted Mansion? Monsters Inc. or Winnie the Pooh. So the episode two begins with us riding an attraction. Which one is it? Episode two. Mm. Haunted Mansion, Monsters Inc. or Winnie the Pooh. I'm going to be watching the answers while Ian's not allowed to look at the screen. Can I write down what I think my in? answer is so that I can then look at the comments again and you can validate that I'm not changing my answer. I mean, I think we can trust you. I'm not so sure that you can. Okay, fair enough. Go I was going to be nice, but... <laughs> do you want some of this paper? Sure, because I have... I'm about to destroy your desk. Otherwise. Yeah, please don't do that. Okay. <laughs> so, question one. Um... Oh, Ad um, Adela's got to go. Bye. Oh, bye, Adele. Um... Adela. Oh, sorry, Adela. Don't like getting people's names wrong. No, apologies for that. I am going to say episode two. Okay, that's my answer. Okay. All right. So let's see what everyone is saying. I'll give you a few more seconds to get your answer. Oh, good. In. I think a lot of people... It's a bit mixed. ...are agreeing. There's a little bit of a mixture. It is, yeah. it is a mixture. Well, what I was trying to remember, not to give anyone clues, but our day at Tokyo Disneyland, definitely the day began with us queuing to get a fast pass for Winnie the Pooh. But you said episode two, but 
but I don't know whether that's episode two, as in it was the second half of our day there, or episode two, as in the day before, was like a preamble travel day or something. So mm. I I think it's either Winnie the Pooh or Haunted Mansion, but my answer is locked in. Okay. Because I've written it down. So I'm going to reveal the answer. So the vlog begins with us riding an attraction in Tokyo Disneyland Park. Which attraction? It is, in fact, Winnie the Pooh. Yes. So you were correct. We did get a first Tick. pass in the first episode, but in episode two, it begins with us Perfect. riding that ride. Because that is what I thought. I thought, well, actually, because we'd been to Korea and we'd been in Tokyo for the days before, there was no travel day. Mm. So episode one would have probably been the first half of our day mm. in Disneyland. Mm. And therefore, the second episode could have started with that. So, yay, yeah. you got it right. Yeah. Okay, so we got a lot of yeses there. People getting that oh, one right. Well done, everyone that got it right. Yeah. Oh, Sinead says you got to prove it. Prove... Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, prove what? <laughs> I've even ticked it, see? <laughs> okay. So, a bit of an... Very strict. I <laughs> this quiz is a serious business now. It is now. serious business. It's a thing. So, you know. This next one, I think, might be a bit of an easy question. Okay. But I thought I'd better throw an easy one in there because I know that some people may not have seen these vlogs. You could probably take an educated guess on this one. Sorry, people are typing poo in the chat now. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Right, okay. So, next question. All right, heads down. <clears throat> what did I lose on the Haunted Mansion? Was it a fan? Can I get... Hang on, before you give the... Can I get extra credit if that ends up being right? Because I've written that before hearing... No. The choices. Was it A, my fan, B, my sunglasses, or C, my ears? Okay. So what did I lose on the Haunted Mansion? A, my fan, B, my sunglasses, or C, my ears? The thing that I wrote down is one of those three things. So... Yeah, I feel like this one's a little bit easy because if you haven't seen that vlog, you could just make an educated guess as to what I might have lost. But, you know. <laughs> Lots of guesses coming up in the chat. <laughs> Well, no, YouTube has decided the word sunnies is rude somehow. Had really? to moderate that. I don't know what the deal is with, <laughs> with the automatic chat moderation No, I don't know. YouTube. That's weird. That is very weird. People replying with emojis as well, which is fun. <laughs> I'm very predictable. I know this. I am, unfortunately. Oh, Jack's saying you referenced this in the current vlog series. Oh, you must have I? spoken about it. Oh, okay. Mm. So the question was even easier. <laughs> That's like half the vlogs. It is, to be fair. <laughs> Either losing them or breaking them is half the vlogs. Amy says, she gives her answer and then says, it's happened more than once. <laughs> I mean... A Amy has just said, Sonny's and Cocker Spaniels making this a wild Saturday <laughs> night. And that's been moderated, so I'm having to approve that comment for you now, Amy. Oh dear. Goodness I think you've lost me. all three things at some point. Yep, for sure. That's a true story. <clears throat> I lose a lot of stuff. I can't help it. I just, I just do. I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. And then I set, what it is, I'll set something down either in Love the restroom. Love how defensive you are. It's like, right, let, no, me, I'm just let me explain I'm this. just explaining how it happens. I set something down if I'm in the restroom or if I'm in a store paying for something, I'll like set my phone or my sunglasses down. And then by the time I'm done, like, you know, paying or whatever, I walk away. Mm. No, Dawn, it's it's not Sunday night. That's that's the whole point. We've decided it's Saturday. <laughs> Madison's saying she can't wait until the boss calls tomorrow and you tell him it's Sunday. Exactly. <laughs> Just send send them our way. Oh, Ian and Victoria said. Amy left her purse on the Jungle Cruise seat. Ooh. Yeah. I've left my phone on the monorail. And one thing that was really disappointing, I bought a couple of souvenirs once and I left those on the um, Pirates ride in the boat. And when I went with Kate, I bought some souvenirs and one of them was a packet of the monorail highlighter pens. Oh. I lost those as well. Yikes. Oh, I like the way Aoife thinks. Tomorrow is Friday night? Sure. Yeah, I'm Why down not? with that. Why Sounds not? good. Why not? Right, so let's go. Let's I do think, an answer. I think yeah. we know where we are with this one. What did I lose on Haunted Mansion? The answer is, of course, my sunglasses. And I, just for proof, and I did write that before the options were given. And I did get them back as well, which was very lovely. Yeah, that and was really good. Over in Tokyo, they don't necessarily send them straight to like a lost and found. They had them at mm. the attraction, so that was pretty awesome. So people celebrating their victories, some commiserating themselves on their failures. I thought I had to include that question because it is a slightly easier one because, you know, it's me. 
Oh, someone said they left a full bag of souvenirs at 1900 Park Fair and the hotel shipped it home to wow, you. Wow, that's amazing. That's Disney for that's you. That's the Disney magic right there. They are amazing. Lots of people that are two for two so far. Nice. So big congrats. Okay. Let's press on with question three. Right. This one might be a bit harder, you know. Okay. So question three. Which snack kiosk in Tomorrowland had a huge line? Was it the snack kiosk for popcorn, ice cream or drinks? Which snack kiosk in Tomorrowland had a huge line? Was it popcorn, ice cream or drinks? I think it was that. Okay. So we will see. Uh-oh. Now I'm looking at the chat and feeling <laughs> not confident. Oh no, now I've remembered what it actually was. Oh, I've got this wrong. Oh dear. Oh no. I'm disappointed at myself. <laughs> there are some people guessing what I guessed. So sorry to those people because you're going to be well, wrong as well. Well, this is a slightly mean question and I'll tell you why in a minute. But See, I just remembered having one of these items next to a booth. I wasn't thinking about whether the line was actually long. Uh, so just say, There is a mixed bag of answers though. Yeah. We haven't all got the same answer. Tokyo loves that. Tokyo popcorn is incredible. They have so many different flavours. I had yes. strawberry popcorn, which was life changing. And you had some kind of like spicy black pepper popcorn. Mm. I think they had blueberry. Like popcorn yeah. is a big deal at Tokyo Disney. Yeah, it's and really good, like I'm the variety as well. It was cool. Um, okay, should we go for it? I think answers are drying up. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for it. So. Which snack kiosk in Tomorrowland had a huge line? It is, in fact, ice cream. Yeah. And I remember because they were lined up against the, the yeah. um, construction wall. And this is why this question was a bit mean. Ian said, and uh, I said something like, oh, what's this line for? Ian said, oh, I think they're just standing in the shade. And then you were like, oh, no, no, no. I think it is a line um, for popcorn. No, ice cream. So both popcorn mm. and um, ice cream were mentioned. Unfortunately, what I wrote was neither of these things. I wrote drinks. Ian totally got it wrong. I just remembered us being uh, out the front of Small World and Haunted Mansion, the kiosk yeah. there. We got drinks there a couple of times, but I was, my brain was not engaged, and so I was put that. That was a little bit of a mean question because both popcorn and ice cream were mentioned mm. in quick succession. But, you know, I thought I'd throw it out there. Well, there we go. Not only is this me misremembering something that happened on a trip where I was there, this was literally something that came out of my mouth. Yeah. I said this, and yet Your words. I still got it wrong. Okay, so... We're on to question four, then. Let's go for question All four. All right, let's do it. So we're sticking in Tomorrowland. How long was the line for Star Tours? Was it 30 minutes, 35 minutes, or 40 minutes? Ooh, that is tricky. I know. How long was the line for Star Tours? 30 minutes, 35 minutes, or 40 minutes? It's just a pure guess. I have no idea. Okay. Oh. Well, I trust people in the chat more than my own memory, and <laughs> a lot of them are saying the same as what I've guessed. <clears throat> so I should have just written this confidently and pretended that I knew. Yeah. Whereas, in fact, I just guessed. I feel like this was also a mean question because... It's very mean. It's very tricky. Some other people in chat, like Sinead, are guessing as well. Yeah. And Dimitri, Dimitri says I'm not that observant. I don't blame you because like clearly neither am I. I was there. If anyone gets this because they actually did take note of that, yeah. then fair enough. I think this you can is... have like a bonus half point. Yeah, I feel like you, this is if you actually knew this. <laughs> this is kind of a guessing question, I would say, because this is pretty mean. But... It should have been more of a tiebreak question where you don't give options. Like uh, if there's yeah. a tiebreak at the end, you'd be like, "What was you know what was the the weight time? That'd be really closest mean. answer wins. Yeah. Mm. But then I think to myself, I'm trying to, eventually I'll get the balance between what's too easy and what's too difficult. Yeah. So I'm just waiting to see if anyone else has got yeah, any get your answers in if you seconds. still want to have a guess. I think that's pretty much everyone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go for it. So how long was the line for Star Tours? It was 30 minutes. Oh no! And I think probably that was the least least guessed answer most people went for 35 or 40 i did go for 35 yeah yikes i feel like 35 
was a bit of a curveball, so that's maybe why people thought it might have been that, because it wasn't around, up, like, you know, I don't know. Well, I am now two for four, which is, is poor. People are just shouting shih tzu in the, in the oh, chat. Dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, a lot of other people on two for four as well. <laughs> Amy said, I got it right. It wasn't a guess. I didn't notice. We believe you, Amy. <laughs> um, right, so. Uh, sorry, I'm just laughing at people in the chat. Trying, yeah. trying to get their comments moderated. <laughs> A lot of people with three out of four. Yeah, that's pretty is, good. That's, pretty, that's good. pretty good. A lot of people on the same score as me. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's fair because I knew this would be harder because it's Tokyo mm. and not Disney World. But because we were due to get back from Tokyo today, I yeah. figured it had to be a Tokyo. Board. Anyone got four out of four? I'm not. I haven't. I don't yeah, think I've anyone, seen any four out of fours. Has anyone got them? <laughs> Sorry, just laughing at Gracie's comment there. <laughs> um, um, yeah, has anyone got four? Let us know. If you've got four, big up yourself. Oh, thank you, Loretta, as well. Oh, That's thanks, Loretta. Comment. Gareth's got six out of six. I'm not wow, sure I congrats. understand how. Oh, Amy's got four. Nice. Oh, well done, Amy. Nice one. Gareth, how have you got six? Yeah. Wh which additional questions did you answer? Gareth's just been giving himself bonus points. Again. Yeah. Uh, Kaylee says, can we pretend I have four? Sure. If it makes you happy, Kaylee, go for it. Yeah. I'm going to pretend that I've got four. Okay, cool. Oh, Gareth says you've just decided. Fair okay, enough. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, right, okay. Last, Last question. question. All right. Question number five. <clears throat> okay. Does the Pirates of the Caribbean ride end with Captain Jack Sparrow in his chair as it does at Disney World? Yes or no? Wait, so, say that again. Does the Pirates of the Caribbean ride end with Captain Jack Sparrow in his chair the same as it does at Disney World? Yes or no? What, does the one in Disneyland? Yeah, the, okay. so this day in Tokyo. Oh, in Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're yeah, in yeah. Tokyo. All right, okay. I'm very tired. Um, so, <laughs> on our day in Tokyo. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you, could, you could have just, as a reminder for us, just said, Pirates of the Caribbean in Disney Tokyo, at Disney Tokyo Land. <laughs> Wait, did we say this is or is not alcoholic? I know, right? Okay. It's... I'm just playing for time now. I... So it's just a yes, no. I'm just going to guess. Right. <laughs> Ian I'm done. <laughs> Ian really is done. He's like... Jim wants to know if I'm okay. <laughs> I mean, no. No. Not really. <laughs> I mean, this is just a normal Saturday, Friday, <laughs> Tuesday night, right? Yeah. I mean, it's no pretty normal for you. <laughs> Basically not having a clue what's going on. Uh, Bethany is saying she can't get over how realistic the Jack Sparrow is. It really, really is. So good. Is it too late to change my answer? Yes. If you've already typed it. <laughs> sorry, Madison. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm down with Bria. Yeah. 50 out of 50. That's what I've got. Yeah. 100 out of 100. <laughs> so any more for any more? Give your answers yeah. and then we will go for... The actual answer. <laughs> what was the side effect of that drink? <laughs> nothing, well, I can't speak for Ian, nothing yet, but I've only had a few sips. <laughs> Amy says that drink has 100% lockdown in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it does say, love your guts on the back, and someone oh. was saying it obviously does bad things. I don't know. I am, I'm a little mm. bit worried, I'm not gonna lie. Live cultured. Raw, vegan, and unpasteurized. I feel like I should have researched what this was before I just drank it. <laughs> well, it's, I think it's going to be good for your digestion, but... Right. I think we've had all the answers we're going to get. We're now just getting a lot of people talking about poo and cocker spaniels. So... Okay. Time to, time to get <laughs> so an answer here. I, I went for yes, because I couldn't remember, and clearly I didn't even really understand the question at first. So yes. um, I went for yes. Put me out of my misery. So, does the Pirates of the Caribbean ride end with Captain Jack Sparrow? So, does the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Tokyo Disneyland? I mean, I would have thought that goes without saying, but sure. Um, <laughs> since this it quiz clearly, is in fact about clearly Tokyo. It doesn't go without saying, because I didn't realise. I mean, I think everyone else got it, but, you know. Um, <laughs> does it end with Captain Jack Sparrow in his chair as it does at Disney World? The answer is yes. Yes! 
yeah. it does. It does have some extra scenes in it that the one at Disney World doesn't have, but it does end the same way. So well done to anyone who got that. Yeah, three out of five. Same as last time. Well, that that's that's not bad. So that's what we're bad. saying is that my memory is is like sixty percent effective. Sure. <laughs> I'm seeing some four out of fives. Congratulations. And a lot of people did mention that Ian should do the same quiz one day so that it's me yes. and you guys guessing. I would much prefer to be the question master than the uh, answer. Well, I mean, maybe one time we'll do that, but... Oh, Corey's at 10 out of 15 over the course of the three quizzes. That's pretty good. Nice. That is pretty good. I would take that. I think I'm probably at, like... Yeah, less than that. Yeah. Nine, maybe. <laughs> and the quiz can be about any of the vlog series at any yeah. moment, so I never tell you ahead of time. So we're just kind of testing your knowledge. You'll just have to go back and watch them all again. <laughs> Dawn is saying that they'd also <laughs> prefer to be the question asker than, than the answerer. Yeah, it's a lot easier when you can't get it wrong, right? Don't Honestly, when Ian does the questions, I will probably get zero out of five, and I'm the one who edits these vlogs. I mean, so. that's probably because I'll ask mean questions that you won't be able to remember. <laughs> oh, Kaylee needs to go to bed because she's got work at 5am. Oh my gosh. Oh, yikes. Night, I, Kaylee. Night. I don't have work at 5am, but I clearly do need to go to bed. Yeah, true. So we should probably wrap up soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I edit them, so I've got an advantage over Ian. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lisa wants to know if I can do an Alex Trebek impression. Now, I know who Alex Trebek is. He does uh, Wheel of Fortune, right? I don't even know who or, he is. Or Jeopardy. He's a game show host in the States. I have no but idea. I actually don't know what he sounds like or who he is in that respect. If it says Ian hasn't yawned yet, he did start Actually, yawn I've, I've yawned three or four times, so you're obviously just yeah. not that good at spotting them. <laughs> pay closer attention. I am. I, I called it out of my peripheral Oh, uh, Corey and Heidi and Madison are confirming he's the host on Jeopardy. Oh, okay. Uh, Pat Sajak does Wheel of Fortune, that's right. Um, yeah, I don't actually know what he sounds like. So no, I can't do an impression of Alex no. Trebek. Oh, bye Holly. Bye Holly. <laughs> He's my a Amy, Amy said she saw me. <laughs> I mean, you can't hide it now. People are looking out for them. Uh, Bria, yes, my chair is still broken. I mean, it's, I say it's broken. It's just like a it, little bit faulty. It, just it, like... it slowly sinks down yeah. over the course of sort of half an hour. Yeah, and you then probably I have to, do need a new one. To, Put it back up again and then I'm good for another 20 minutes. I think someone's saying they've got the same Disney pen. Do you mean the Stars and Stripes one back here? I oh, love yeah. that pen. That one's pretty cool. This oh, Becky's one. off. Bye. Oh, no. I'm breaking Oh, things. my word. What I, like, I was just saying I like this goofy one as well. Yeah, that that's, is cute. That's quite cool. That looks like I'm poking you in the eye with this It really one. does. Careful there. <laughs> right. I think it's time that we should... Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm clearly losing... The Ian's delirious and making no sense anymore. So... Yeah. Kombucha Let's... recommended. It it definitely does the trick. Well, it seems. remains to be seen. We'll let you know in the next. Uh, Am live I going to have stream. a hangover tomorrow? I mean, let's let's hope not. <laughs> Philip really said nearly took her eye out with that. Actually, yes. it was it was further away than it looked. Yeah, it's but... just. The angle made look it look worse. A bit too close for comfort. <laughs> so as always, thank you so much for being here yes. and for joining us on these live streams. We love doing them, and it's a great way for us to past time while we're in lockdown as I'm sure everyone else is the same as us and starting to feel the effects of being stuck indoors so fingers crossed for all of us that we can at some point um get back out there yeah. and at some point get back to Disney more importantly or oh, invite to Rhea who just posted in the chat oh and, bye Rhea and yeah I hope things get better for you soon yes definitely um, so yes, thank you to all of you. Thank you to everyone who is still working, still keeping everyone going. And I hope everyone's staying safe and your families are safe. And yeah, we'll be doing another one of these probably, I want to say Tuesday. Yeah, it feels like probably yeah. Tuesday. I think tomorrow I'll need to edit the podcast. Yeah, so probably Tuesday night. Yeah. Tuesday uh, or Wednesday, certainly. We always confirm on Instagram and on my YouTube stories. Yes. So check out those. And of course, hit the bell icon so that you get notified of these things. Yeah. And here comes the poke. <laughs> See, that doesn't get moderated. I mean, um, anyway, before we say anything else that's dodgy, let's just uh, let's just go. So, thank you all for being here, and we'll see you Tuesday. Bye. Bye.